deliberately contaminated author, Wuxia Song during the years of study, no one would associate Zhang Huai with Ming Shuang. Ming Shuang is the school flower, always at the center of the situation, rich and beautiful, and arrogant. Zhang Huai is always number one in the affiliated high school. The boy's family background is not good, but he is handsome and indifferent, and he treats others with restraint and alienation. Only Ming Shuang knows what he looks like in private. One summer night after the college entrance examination, under the camphor tree, carrying everyone behind his back, he lowered his eyebrows and trembled when he kissed her fingers, a strong obsession that could not be controlled. Too when she was young, Zhang Huai was extremely indulgent to her, and she would always respond to her needs, and the temperature of the drinking water would be adjusted in advance. Unfortunately, there was still no result, but she was young and energetic. After getting hooked, she got tired of breaking up with one sentence, walked with unkindness and never looked back. What Ming Shuang didn't expect was that in a few years, she would bump into Zhang Huai again. He is not what he used to be, and he is the center of this cutting-edge press conference. The man has matured a lot, and his noble temperament is even more cold and abstinent. She thought that Zhang Huai had forgotten her long ago, or hated her, and just thought it was a juvenile absurdity. In Kaijing Magazine's interview with Zhang Huai, the reporter was sighing at his overly smooth career territory, and asked him jokingly if he had asked for too much. When everyone thought he would not answer. Yes. His eyes crossed the sea of people, and he saw a woman talking to his male partner in the distance. She was pulling up her long hair and shining brightly the corners of her sweet lips were curved, and she smiled like that at others. Ming Shuang came back from the table and was held down in the corridor. She was breathing hard, almost unbelievable, Zhang Huai, are you crazy? Ming Shuang never thought that one day, the pure and clean teenager in his memory would become like this. The man wiped the scar on the corner of his lips with his fingertips, you taught it yourself, are you satisfied? He smiled softly at her, his neckline loosened, and a beautiful face looked sullen and decadent, I'll play with you. Do you still want it? Three Zhang Huai's most intense love and hate in his life were only given to the same person. She taught him what love is, the godless fell, he tasted the sweetest honey, and felt the most gouging pain. The slender school uniform skirt swayed through the whole summer and fell on the apex of my heart. Asterisk he slash it's a sweet text in general slash no puppy love plots, no intimacy descriptions for minors, a small number of women chased men in the early stage, the heroine's family is not bankrupt, the male protagonist is only physically and mentally, and the female protagonist is miserable in love, mind straying. Miss Pride X quiet and paranoid flower of high ridge sweet and bad X being toyed with in the palm content label, sweet text search keyword, protagonist, 2020.8.5 slash 2022.5.2 supporting role, others, introduction purpose, young people grow up together and overcome their weaknesses. In the early summer of Tanchinch, just after a heavy rain, the sun came out again, and the water vapor in the air gradually evaporated. A black phantom slowly drove past the boulevard in the middle of the campus, and the green camphor cast mottled light and shadow on the road. Ming Shuang pulled the curtains of the car and looked at the school scene outside the window. Tanfu is the most prestigious middle school in Tanchinch. Together with Tanchinch International, it dominates the education sector in the city and even the province. However, Tanfu and International take different routes. Following the traditional path, most of the annual college entrance examination champions and competition gold medalists come from here. The buildings of the attached middle school are also neat and tidy like the school spirit. The white teaching buildings in the distance stand neatly in rows. The campus is much larger than she imagined. Xiao Shuang, what do you think of the attached middle school? The man sitting in the passenger car turned around and saw Ming Shuang looking out the window with his chin propped up, and asked with a smile, is it not worse than the international one? I don't know if it's because it's still class time, the huge campus is extraordinarily quiet, only the sound of cicadas can be heard, and there are no students on the road. 
Ming Shuang said perfunctorily, it's okay. She wasn't in a high mood, but she didn't make a fuss. She actually agreed to transfer, which made Lin Chongji chuckle. After all, who is a normal person who would transfer before the summer vacation of the second and third year of high school? Or from international to Tanfu, Tanfu starts summer vacation in mid-July, and you can study for more than a month with full calculation. Mr. Ming originally wanted to come with you. Lin Chongji saw that she was in a good mood, unfortunately, due to the flight, I really can't come back today. Ming Shuang leaned against the window, slender fingers curling a strand of her hair. The light summer sun fell on her porcelain white face, framing the shadows of long eyelashes. Her waist-length hair is naturally slightly honey-colored, and her almond eyes are slightly drooping at the end. The color of her eyeballs is lighter than that of ordinary people, similar to dark amber. She is a 17-year-old girl. In terms of appearance, she looks a bit like a doll. An innocent face like an angel. It's a pity that Lin Chongji has been Ming Lichen's life secretary for five or six years. He has dealt with Ming Shuang a lot and has a good understanding of her temperament. This angel is best at torturing people. The Ming family is a famous family in Tanchinj. It can be traced back to its origin. The family has a history of hundreds of years here. It's not surprising to be used to being arrogant. Ming Shuang's phone vibrated a few times, and messages in the group popped up. Love Miss Ming and her native dogs love 24K Pure Silly Times to Hey Name changed yesterday by Su Tian Bei's whim. In fact, it is a small group that communicates, eats, drinks and has fun. The four people in the group have played from childhood to adulthood, and their family backgrounds are all on the same level. Su Tian Bei, why hasn't the eldest come to school today? No, did you really transfer to Tanfu? Last month, the story of Miss Ming's beauty saving the hero has just spread throughout our international streets, and many people have come to me to ask. There are various second-generation students from Tanchinj International. As the saying goes, where there are people, there are rivers and lakes. After these people get together, they will naturally gradually divide into levels. Ming Shuang's family background and own conditions are considered to be at the top of the pyramid. She would support a low-level student, and eventually she would transfer to another school. Su Tianbei was really curious. He knows Ming Shuang's character, and he doesn't like to meddle in his own business. They grew up together when they were young. How much extra emotionality is given to others is very debatable. Not long after that incident, Ming Lichen hurriedly transferred to Ming Shuang, without giving any buffer time. Ming Shuang's skin is smiling but not smiling, who asked you to ask? It's better to ask them to come to me in person. Wouldn't it be clearer to explain it in person? Who dares not to peel off three layers of skin for the eldest lady? Ms. Ming, she is indeed very vicious, no poison is not a husband, cattle is a word. The one who was rescued by you is called Ji or something. He has come to our class several times in the past few days and said he wanted to see you. Li hung you and choked his wrist, the drama is quite enough, but unfortunately our eldest heroine has been forced to transfer to another school by Uncle Ming, so she cannot continue to act in the second part. Ming Shuang lowered her eyes, noncommittal, obviously not wanting to talk about this matter anymore, okay it will be annoying to talk about it. Su Tianbei patted her and changed the subject, school flower, although you are gone, but your voice is still there, today there is another man in our school who confessed to you on the campus wall. He is 1.9 meters tall and a sports student, he looks so handsome. Ming Shuang, the sound and appearance are like your father, and the illiterate can't use idioms. Su Tianbei posted a picture, which should be a selfie of the boy. Ming Shuang glanced and commented, it looks like the brain is also full of muscles. Li Hung Yuan, what do you know? Miss Ming can't appreciate this kind of thing. She only likes coquettish bitches. Su Tianbei, does sandalwood abound in this? Ming Shuang said lazily, there are only good students who can study here. Tanfu's school spirit is upright and rigorous, 
with strict school rules and terrifying work and rest schedules as well as grades. Su Tianbei, poor 15, since you've gone all the way, you can rest assured and make a good renovation there. When you come out, Buddy treats you to a big meal. 15 is Ming Shuang's nickname, because he was born on a full moon and autumn night with falling frost, but at the moment, it's just these few friends who have played since childhood and grown up. The three in the group also took turns to shoot her, and even Luqiuo, who had been silent just now, was bubbling up. Ming Shuang tapped three powerful letters, Gun put away the phone, too lazy to be poor with them. The vehicle stopped in front of a building, Lin Chongji helped Ming Shuang with his school bag, and someone was waiting at the door. The Ming family contacted the school early, and Ming Shuang also knew for the first time that the original family still held shares in Tanfu. The group led Lin Chongji and Ming Shuang into the teaching building. The principal's office is on the seventh floor. This is Ming Shuang's future class teacher. In the elevator, Tan Fu's principal Cheng introduced, it's the class with the best teachers in our high school. We also arranged for an outstanding student to bring Ming Shuang to familiarize himself with the environment during this time, hoping to allow her to adapt to the study and life here as soon as possible. The head teacher was a middle-aged woman in her forties, thin and neat with a ponytail. Ming Shuang politely called teacher hello. Feng Hong had long heard that there would be such a transfer student in her class. After understanding the background, she made psychological preparations in advance. Looking at it now, it is very different from what she imagined. The girl is fair and slender, wearing a white shirt and a knee-length navy blue plaid skirt. She wears a bracelet on her right wrist. I don't know what material it is. In the center is a small moon in aqua yellow. The carpal bone was slender, with a thin white scar on it. Feng Hong has been a teacher for decades and has read countless people. The first impression of her is that she is very beautiful, but she doesn't seem to be the quiet and well-behaved little girl she looks like on the outside. In the principal's office, the tea table has been brewed in the Longjing with the fragrance of tea, and there is a plate of hanging green lychees next to it. The group chatted about Ming Shuang's situation all of which were polite words. Ming Shuang leaned on the sofa and fell asleep. After that, Feng Hong had something to do and left first. Lin Chongji went to help her with the complicated transfer procedures and called Ming Shuang temporarily. Take a break here. Ming Shuang's school bag was empty, with nothing but a pencil case. She sat on the sofa board and peeled a lychee. It was sweet and hydrated. Just after eating, there was a knock at the door. When the principal was not there, Ming Shuang said, Come in. The door was pushed open, and it was an unfamiliar boy. Ming Shuang sat on the sofa, raised her eyelids, and looked up at him. The boy was wearing a neat white short sleeved school uniform with sandalwood attached, with short black hair. He was tall, and a little thinner in terms of height. Because of family relationships, Ming Shuang has seen many people since childhood, including some popular celebrities, but none of them have such a face that impresses her, not entirely because of their looks, this kind of quiet and clear temperament is in the 17 or 18 year old boys it is very rare. A good student, a good boy, from the hair to the tip of the toes, exactly fits this description. Ming Shuang used to go to school in the world. Most of the boys in the circle were very fashionable with all kinds of sky-high sneakers and colorful hair. The boy in front of him was dressed very simply, but he had a pure spirit and a cold, bookish air. Ming Shuang peeled a lychee, took a bite, and looked at his back leisurely. The waist is very thin, the legs are long, and the proportions are good, and the figure does not drag the hind legs of this face. Ming Shuang stared at it, commenting in her heart until she noticed that the beauty stopped in front of her at some point, and looked at her with a pair of jet black eyes. His pupils were pitch black, his eyelashes were long, his facial features were icy and cold, and his lips were just a little red. Rare, unforgettable beauty. Ming Shuang realized later. When we met for the first time, staring at people's waist, wasn't it good? But she wasn't ashamed, 
she tilted her head and gave him a friendly smile, are you a student here? The girl speaks crisply, wears a short skirt with two slender white legs under the skirt, her face is dazzlingly beautiful, and her temperament is completely different from the common students of Tanfu. The door was just pushed open at this moment, and Principal Cheng and Lin Chongji returned to the office. Xiao Huai. Principal Cheng clearly recognized the boy and smiled, just in time, I happen to be looking for you. This is the first place in our grade, very smart, excellent, and of good conduct. Principal Cheng said with pride, and introduced Ming Shuang and Lin Chongji, our top students are also in class 1, you can communicate more in the future. Learn and progress together. After the formalities are completed, you can take Ming Shuang to the class first. The book has already been delivered. Principal Cheng said, this is the first time for a new student to come to our school. You introduce her to our school. Class, and will be classmates from now on. The boy stood quietly and said hello. Lin Chongji on the side was a little nervous, and looked at Ming Shuang hurriedly. He knows Ming Shuang's temper. If he doesn't want to do anything, he won't take anyone's face into consideration at all. He is afraid that Principal Cheng won't come down. Thank you, then I'll trouble you. When Ming Shuang laughed, there was a small pear vortex on her left cheek, very sweet. Lin Chongji breathed a sigh of relief, I'll come and pick you up later. Seeing the backs of the two leaving the office, Lin Chongji also relaxed, chatting and laughing with Principal Cheng, as expected of a student from Tanfu, he looks smart and sensible, with such teachers and classmates, Mr. Ming will definitely not regret choosing here. Principal Cheng also smiled, this child is indeed very good. It's just that the family situation is a bit complicated. Family background is not good. Lin Chongji also came from an ordinary family. He has followed Ming Lichen in the past few years. The most common child of this age group is Ming Shuang. Over time, it was a bit of a surprise. 17 or 18 year old high school students will naturally have difficult family circumstances and become precocious and self reliant. Principal Cheng paused, that's not entirely the problem. His parents have already passed away. Principal Cheng said, it is very difficult to live alone at a very early age and to have the current grades. The Ming family will set up a new student aid program for our school next month to celebrate Xia Shuang's admission. Lin Chongji said, Mr. Ming is generous and appreciates the best juniors the most. If you have any difficulties, you can ask Mr. Ming to solve it. The two exchanged a few words, then Principal Cheng sat down at the table, picked up the stack of documents Zhang Huai had just sent on the table, and was stunned when he saw the first one. The materials were returned as they were, and it was a bursary that he wanted to give Zhang Huai before. The boy didn't care about what she was staring at his waist before, and didn't ask her why she transferred at this strange time and where she came from. There were only the two of them left in the elevator. He was nearly a head taller than her, and the two kept their distance. What's your name? Ming Shuang asked. I just heard the principal call him Xiao Huai Zhang Huai. The young man said that his voice had obviously passed the period of voice change, not as cold as he looked, but very clean and smooth. The ending sound is very shallow, a faint nasal sound that is unique to the boys in the southern water town. How did you write it? Ming Shuang asked. The river of the river, the wood ghost locust. Your name is so awkward. Ming Shuang blinked, can you write it for me? She was born beautiful and flamboyant, raised her face slightly and looked at him, not at all feeling that her unreasonable demands were inappropriate. An innocent energy that is naturally pampered, proud and beautiful. It was the first time Zhang Huai met such a girl. He took out a notepad from his school uniform pocket, tore a page, lowered his eyes, and wrote a few scribbles. Hand it to her. On the paper is his name. Zhang Huai the handwriting is clean, not scribbled at all, as neat and beautiful as a human being. He looked very focused when he lowered his eyes to write, and the kind of good student who was very well behaved and pure came out at once. 
when she took the note, her fingertips accidentally brushed the sides of his knuckles. With the direct skin to skin contact, Zhang Hui's back felt like an electric shock. He quickly retracted his fingers, feeling some uncontrollable physical discomfort. Ming Shuang noticed it very sensitively. She looked at her fingers and then at the boy. Her fingers were clearly clean and her hands were white and tender, and she didn't do it on purpose. He behaved like he was being frivolous by her. You can read it to me again. The eldest lady was unhappy, I am illiterate and I can't understand. The author says, spend the summer with everyone, and watch 15 chase, mistakenly, Xiao Hawaii. This is the first time I try this type of hero and heroine. I hope I can make some breakthroughs. It's probably a story about a black heart sweet girl playing with the heart of the flower of pure kaolin. Asterisk where there are people, there are rivers and lakes by Jin Yong the next version of God Crossing Me, please collect it. Copy, 1. At the age of 16, Chuyu was sent to Ji's family for foster care. Ji's family has three sons, all of whom are Zhilin Yushu, but Ji Sushu, who is at the bottom of the list, is a blind little man. It is rumored that he is the illegitimate son of Ji's family, and everyone can be deceived. On the day Chuyu came to Ji's house, when he bumped into the snow, the boy's lips turned white from the cold, and he picked up the dirty books from the ground, but it still looked like a painting. The same age, the same disease. She regarded him as her best friend, took good care of him, kept each other warm, and spent the hardest time together. 2. After college, Chuyu was finally able to fly away. Until that late spring, she had to return to Ji's mansion again for some reason. The Ji family is powerful, but this generation of young men is abnormal. She got wet in the rain and fled from the Ji family late at night. At the end of the corridor stood a faint figure, the pale and beautiful face in my memory. The man's slender and cool fingers gently touched her face, gently pressing, and the fingertips were moistened by the rain. As if seeing the savior, Chuyu held his sleeve tremblingly and asked him to take her out of Ji's house. However, when he woke up again, the lights were dim and Chuyu's mind was dizzy. He gently rubbed her lips, approached her cherishly, and whispered in a dreamy voice, But, I like you too. I like you so much, more than anyone else slash I remember your taste. Your touch slash Jijia is mine now, will you be mine too? On that day, she fell from the sky, like a flowery dream, like a bubble God crosses me, but I miss God gentle sick Jiao X bright little son. He was silent for a while, then read it again, Zhang Hawaii. Ming Shuang simply asked him, is there something dirty on my hands? She raised her hand in front of him, and the girl's hands were clean, white, and delicate obviously a pair of hands that had not done any rough work. The young man closed his eyes and pursed his lips slightly, no. Ming Shuang's anger came and went quickly. Looking at his beautiful face and long eyelashes, her anger disappeared quickly, and she no longer pursued it, and followed him to visit the campus. In this day and age, everyone is somewhat eccentric. For the sake of his good looks, let's forgive him for the time being. Ming Shuang folded the note with his name written on it and put it in her pocket. She was beautiful, she was in the minority, she was pampered and arrogant, and she was full of confidence in front of others. High school number 101 is located on the fourth floor in the middle of the U-shaped teaching building in the middle of the attached high school campus. Ming Shuang follows Zhang Hui upstairs. The teaching style of Tanfu is very different from that of the international ones. The corridors are hung with portraits of various scientists and writers from ancient and modern China and foreign countries. After walking a few steps, the afternoon self-study bell rang, and students began to appear one after another in the corridor, all dressed in school uniforms in accordance with the rules. Ming Shuang stood out from the crowd, and many people looked at them. Because of her appearance and family background, Ming Shuang was used to being the focus of everyone's attention since she was a child, but this time, she found that everyone's attention seemed to be more because of the person beside her. So famous? In the past, 
when I was in the international class, most of the boys who were famous in their grades were rich young masters who could play and show off because of their good family background. They changed their girlfriends one by one, which was more diligent than changing shoes, including Ming Shuang's own childhood and her brothers at home. She was familiar with it. Most boys are like that. He is completely different from Zhang Huai. Ming Shuang remembered the principal's introduction, saying that he had always been the first, a model student, and felt more and more interesting in his heart. Classroom 201 of Senior 2 Wu Dan came back from buying soda, raised his neck and gulped a few sips, I just saw Zhang Huai downstairs with a girl I didn't know. That girl is very beautiful. Wu Dan said, really, like a star, white and beautiful. In addition to being beautiful, she looks very delicate, in short, it is very different from ordinary high school students. Others are excited, are you a new classmate? Brother, how can anyone transfer schools at this time? Then it's not Zhang Huai's girlfriend, right? The person who said this didn't believe it. Everyone laughed, pull it down. Tanfu's school spirit is strict, and there are a couple in private, but no one is stupid enough to openly bring his girlfriend from another school into the school during school hours, and Zhang Huai is even less likely to be the protagonist of this kind of thing. There are many people who have a crush on him, but few people think who Zhang Huai will like. He is like an unreachable shadow, the snowy moon on the top of the mountain. Ruan Yangfen lives in the same dormitory as Zhang Huai and his daily routine is as light and regular as water. It can be said that he has no desires or desires. It's impossible for Zhang Huai to talk about it. He has a secret. Ruan Yangfen blinked and said mysteriously, Do you know that? Everyone was excited, and it was really rare to hear Zhang Huai's gossip. Ruan Yangfen said mysteriously, One day I will go back to the dormitory temporarily. That evening, Ruan Yangfen came back from playing football outside, sweating profusely, and went back to the dormitory to change his clothes. He took the key to open the door, but was taken aback when he entered the door. The indoor lights were turned off, leaving only a desk lamp emitting a faint light, and the bathroom door was half-closed. There was a rushing sound of water flowing inside. Ruan Yangfen was really taken aback at the time. He had always thought that Zhang Huai was just a little talker and his personality was not difficult to get along with. At this moment, in the bathroom, the boy's back is tall and thin, his black hair is still dripping with water, pale and quiet, only his lips are abnormally red, and he repeatedly washes his hands with water over and over again. This scene is very strange. Sick. Zhang Huai didn't notice him. Ruan Yangfen hurriedly closed the door and sneaked away, remembering the exchange meeting of the friend's school just after the afternoon, Zhang Huai was the student representative, and there was a handshake session, and he did not show any abnormality at that time. It's just a handshake, is it necessary? Later, Ruan Yangfen also paid attention to it. In life, Zhang Huai really rarely has physical contact with people, whether it is male or female but his emotions are restrained and will not be noticed by others. Having said that, his voice stopped abruptly, the classroom door opened, Ming Shuang followed Zhang Huai into the classroom, and everyone was instantly quiet. The class was quiet. At the door, a short-haired girl who was doing a question put down her writing pen, but her eyes fell on Ming Shuang who was behind Zhang Huai. Monitor, did you get the result of the last math quiz? She looked at Zhang Huai and Ming Shuang, and asked in a low voice. Zhang Huai walked by and said lightly, Not yet. This is. Wu Ching Miao looked at Ming Shuang beside him. Zhang Huai walked past, new transfer student. Hello. Ming Shuang smiled at her, she knew that she looked good when she smiled, the pear vortex seemed to be filled with honey, very sweet and pure and it was easy to close the distance with the person you met for the first time. Wu Ching Miao hesitated and smiled back at her, probably wondering why someone would transfer at this time. However, she also has the unique intuition of a girl of this age she breathed a sigh of relief for a while, 
Zhang Huai didn't even look at her because of her beautiful facial features, and she was colder than others. There were the last two vacancies left in the classroom. Ming Shuang was quite satisfied when she saw her pile of newly issued textbooks sitting in the last row of seats by the window. She likes quietness, and this position is the most suitable. Ming Shuang put down her school bag and prepared to take a seat there. The next seat was a tall and strong boy with glasses, and asked her enthusiastically, Do you want a rag? No one has sat here for a long time, and there is a lot of dust. The classroom door opened again. Feng Hong stepped in and saw that Ming Shuang had arrived. She glanced around the class and commanded, Lu Yiwei, move your position. Ming Shuang, you can sit at a table with Zhang Huai temporarily. Feng Hong said to Ming Shuang, the semester will end soon, and the seats will be changed later. He is the monitor, you can ask him for help if you have anything. Ming Shuang put her school bag down heavily, Lu Bing grew the boy in the back seat was obviously a little disappointed, but he still diligently helped her carry the textbooks over. Because of her height, Zhang Huai's seat was not far from the previous seat. Ming Shuang sit on the inside by the window. Thank you, you've helped me a lot. Ming Shuang smiled at Lu Bing Gru. The boy's dark face was flushed, and he returned to his seat in a daze. Zhang Huai stood aside without saying a word, quiet and upright, waiting for Ming Shuang to pack up before sitting down. Good student. Ming Shuang's cat's eyes shone brightly, we got a table with me, we are really destined. However, are you afraid that I will affect your study? She held her chin and tilted her head to look at him with a smile. After all, I'm so beautiful. She said stinkingly, sit beside you every day to shine, look at me a few more times every day, and read a few times less books. The young man narrowed his eyelashes, and the hand holding the pen paused, but he didn't say a word. Ming Shuang didn't feel embarrassed at all, she hummed a song while cleaning up her desk. Do you have any paper? She packed up, waved her hand, and asked a question. Chao Zhang Huai spread her hand out naturally, and was very confident. The palm of the outstretched palm is tender, the five fingers are white and slender, and the finger pads are stained with some unsightly ashes. She was accustomed to being served, and her movements carried the coquettishness of a young girl, and she was natural forgetting that this was not at home and the people sitting next to her were not the people who usually served her. Zhang Huai took out a tissue from the hole in the table, staggered her hand, put the tissue on the table, lowered her eyes and continued to read. Ming Shuang took out a tissue, wiped her hands, and threw the tissue into Zhang Huai's garbage bag after wiping. Then he looked sideways and continued to look at him. He was solving a math problem, looking at him from the side, the bridge of his nose was tall, straight, and delicate, the peaks of his lips were obvious, thin red, slightly moist, cold and pure beauty, but with such a pair of lips. As if deliberately seducing people. Ming Shuang smiled with her chin in her hand, her eyes sparkling. She was more and more interested in him. Ming Shuang likes the invincible, whether it is people or things. In the afternoon, there were two sessions of self-study. Everyone was quietly learning their own way. Ming Shuang leaned against the windowsill and slept sweetly for two hours. When it was finally time for school, Ming Shuang waited impatiently at the school gate. The red Ferrari was parked not far away, and a person got out of the car. Su Tianbei was 1.8 meters tall, with a flat head, looking left and right, looking for Ming Shuang in the crowd. Tai Danner, your father is here. Ming Shuang waved at him, raised his eyebrows and shouted. Su Tianbei. Tai Dan was a nickname he couldn't bear to look back on. Where's Lin Chongji? Ming Shuang asked when Su Tianbei approached. I told brother Lin and told him not to come. Su Tianbei scolded, damn, this road is too blocked. Brother Liu came back from the holiday today and said to have a small gathering, Yunzi is in the car. Su Tianbei said, old place. Liu Kuo was one or two years older than them. He had already gone to university. 
he was in the next city and would come back occasionally. Li Hung Yuan was sitting in the passenger seat, humming with headphones on, seeing them come up, took off his headphones, leaned over, sniffed at Chao Mingxuang, and was poked back by Mingxuang's finger. Let me smell it and see if you have been influenced by the smell of sandalwood. Li Hung Yuan said with a serious face. You smell so bad. Mingxuang said in disgust, stay away from me. I call it manly. Li Hung Yuan laughed, I just played a game before I came here. Thank you, already you. Mingxuang has a smart nose, many men have a stink on their bodies, and she never comes close. Su Tianbei took out a cup of fruit tea wrapped in an ice pack from the car and handed it to Mingxuang. I don't want it. Mingxuang glanced at the packaging. Sister, I brought this all the way from the south of the city. It wasn't the fruit tea you said you wanted to drink from his family. Su Tianbei's eyes widened. Mingxuang, that's not what I said last month, I don't want to drink it anymore. Yes, little ancestor. You are really hard to serve. You will be really unlucky for any man to stand in the future. Su Tianbei said, Okay, then I will drink it myself. He knew the details of how small he was, but those men were all rushing to serve her. When they were a few years old, Ming Shuang could laugh and bully them to the point of screaming. Ming Shuang cut off, then they deserve to be unlucky. She said she didn't like it and sometimes she even said bad words, but she couldn't stop it, so she could only say that she deserved it. This is how she loves people and things, her interest comes and goes quickly, and she has a strong possessiveness towards her possessions. When Mingxuang was nine years old, someone gave her a precious pet puppy. At that time, she didn't like people, but she didn't hate animals. The dog kissed her very much and Mingxuang showed her friendliness and love for it rarely. One day, a relative of the Ming family came to be a guest at the house. The puppy was so happy that everyone lay on their knees for a while, wagging their tails to please them. Mingxuang watched coldly from a distance. After that, she never touched the pet puppy again. In desperation, Ming Lichen could only give the dog away. What belongs to her must be entirely hers. A few petites have complained about her outrageous double standard. There were stains on the paper, some people chose to smear and modify it, and Ming Shuang chose to tear the paper. A young but cold-blooded and arrogant little devil with a beautiful face and a wealthy family background. We'll take you back after dinner. You are living in that villa in Nanyuan now. Su Tianbei suddenly remembered, is your aunt at home? I went abroad to play with Ming Lichen. Ming Shuang yawned and said strangely, Why, are you afraid of her at home? Don't worry, what I said in this family is more effective than her for the time being. Yes, I'm scared to death, please cover me, miss. Li Hung Yuan added, By the way, is Gu's Hizi also in Tanfu? I heard that her grades are very good. Have you seen her today? Gu's Hizi is Gu Wanning's niece, the same age as them. Li Hung Yuan followed his father. He has a good memory and remembers people very well. I have this impression. He often finds various reasons to bring his niece into the Ming family villa. I didn't pay attention. Ming Shuang didn't raise her eyebrows, her interest was lacking, it's none of my business. After having dinner in the cafeteria, he returned to the dormitory and Zhang Huai went to take a bath. Tanchinj is located in the south and the latitude is low. It is very hot in summer. There is already a thin layer of sweat on his body. He came out of the bathroom and has already changed. I took off my clothes and wiped my hair with a towel. He was slender and thin, and his fingertips were dripping with water, glowing a little white. Several roommates ate lunch in the dormitory, chatting in full swing. Yang Gu said, It's really beautiful and the voice is so sweet and snarky, I can't stand it. He slammed his arm into Ruan Yangfen, who was next to him, what a boy of this age was thinking, several people smiled tacitly. Zhang Huai didn't say a word, and the hand that opened the window paused for a moment. I heard that her family is very rich. 
her father is the kind who can be on TV. By Fume, that's not it. Is the position of the school flower in our school going to be changed? Squad leader, what do you think? Ruan Yangfen turned his head and looked at Zhang Huai, is it your new roommate? You're not asking for nothing when you ask the squad leader. Yang Gu said, the squad leader sees everyone the same. Zhang Huai opened the dormitory window completely to let the smell escape. He was still as quiet and reticent as usual. Standing there, he looked more and more clean and upright. Pack up after eating. He didn't answer, he said lightly, slung a black school bag on one shoulder, pushed open the door and left. He had just walked downstairs when the phone in his pocket suddenly vibrated. It was an MMS from an unfamiliar number. Brother, have you had dinner yet? Would you like to come out and eat together? Without a signature, at first glance, he already knew who it was. Sure enough, the background of the attached picture is a luxuriously decorated private room with a table of sumptuous meals. You can vaguely see the corners of the shirts of the boys on the opposite side and the legs under the table. On the far right is the hand of a girl in beer, with her fingernails. Familiar pink and round. Ming Shuang lowered her head and fiddled with her phone. What are you doing? Su Tianbei came over to take a look. Do something fun and happy. Ming Shuang smiled sweetly. This was her usual expression when she wanted to do something bad, and Su Tianbei shuddered subconsciously. The author says, let's see how long our pure Xiao Huai can hold on to be acquired. Wildberry is a restaurant that several people often go to for dinner. There is a fixed private room on the fourth floor. Looking out from the window, there is a quiet bamboo garden outside. The environment is very secluded and elegant. Ming Shuang was fiddling with his mobile phone, while Liu Qiuo was sitting at the opposite table. Ming Shuang likes to eat seafood. The crabs produced in June were not fat yet. He deliberately made an appointment for the North Pacific king crab in advance, and was concentrating on using tools to remove the crab meat. Pack in a small bowl. Liu Qiuo has treated Ming Shuang like this since childhood, and Su Tianbei and Li Hung Yuan have long been used to it. Liu Qiuo pushed Wan Chao Ming Shuang, who are you talking to? So happy. He was wearing a white shirt and slacks, and his face was gentle and handsome. Luqo had matured earlier than his peers since he was a child. A new classmate. Ming Shuang took a mouthful of crab meat. 15, I heard that you transferred to Tanfu. Yes. Ming Shuang's attitude towards Luqo was not like that of others. He always had questions and answers. There was a lot of trouble in the international business before, and Luqo naturally heard some rumors. It is said that Ming Shuang was in his early days for a boy surnamed Ji, and he had a conflict with the second young master of the Zhang family. Chang forced to transfer. Why did you and Qian Zhang quarrel? Liu Qiuo hesitated to choose his words, because of a student from the next class? How good is your relationship with that boy? Not good. Ming Shuang didn't lift her head. That. Ming Shuang said generously. Actually, I just didn't deal with Zhang Qian Zhang. Liu Qiuo had a headache and didn't know what to say to mediate. Ming Shuang, however, seemed to have been caught, and sneered, it's just that a junior who was in the upper position later on, because other people don't know, he can be regarded as the righteous master. What kind of bull is there? She can't stand Jinian being bullied, but she can't stand Zhang Qian Zhang herself. Li Hung Yuan and Su Tianbei looked at each other in dismay, and a storm surged in their hearts. The three most famous wealthy families in Tanchinj are the Ming family, the Liu family and the Zhang family. The Liu family and the Ming family have always been friends, so Liu Qiuo and Ming Shuang have known each other since childhood. They were childhood sweethearts and grew up together. Now the two are more developed in the business world, and the Zhang family is more traditional. There are even some old-style clan members left in the family to be honest, the Zhang family's old mansion is located at the southernmost end of Tanchinj. Ming Shuang visited it once every hour, 
and vaguely remembered that it was an old-fashioned mansion with white walls and black tiles. Knowing that Mingxuang was heartbroken, Liu Kuo sighed in his heart and said gently, I'll be at home next weekend, I'll accompany you to see my aunt. I've been too busy this year, and I didn't worship properly during Qing Ming. The three of them knew about Mingxuang's past, and naturally they understood why Mingxuang was hostile to Zhang Jianzhong. When Mingxuang's mother, Yu Yin, was alive, Mingxuang was still young, and her impression of her mother was that of a thin and unhappy back in front of the window. She has been waiting for someone who does not return home all year long, Mingxuang has been close to her mother since she was a child, and when she heard some rumors at that time, hatred was already planted in her heart. Later, when Mingxuang was in the third grade, she went back to her grandmother's house for the summer vacation. One rainy night, Yu Yin was alone in Ming's villa, and suddenly wanted to go out in the middle of the night. According to the servant, she said she wanted to bring an umbrella to pick up Ming like in home she couldn't be persuaded no matter how hard she tried. In the end, she never came back and died beside the national road. Ming Shuang believes that her mother was killed by this family alive. In her heart, she hated Ming like in passionate men and stupid and infatuated women. Just a mere man, no matter what, she won't hurt her heart for any man. After Yu Yin died, Ming Shuang went to worship twice a year, and Liu Kuo often accompanied her. Yet, Ming Shuang lowered her voice, Thank you brother Liu. Don't say anything about the Zhang family. Liu Kuo said sternly, and said to the two of them, Fifteen and Zhang Jianzhong are not familiar with the Zhang family, and they don't want to have too much interaction. Su Tianbei immediately said, Brother, you still don't believe us, don't worry. They also had contacts with the Zhang family. Knowing how arrogant and aloof the Zhang family's second young master was at ordinary times, they all had to laugh and hold it in their arms. They had not yet digested this big news in their hearts. Li Hung Yuan was the most personable, and immediately activated the atmosphere and changed the topic. The atmosphere in the house gradually returned to normal. After eating a meal, Ming Shuang took a look at her mobile phone, and Zhang Huai never replied to her text messages. On the contrary, Su Duan Duan sent her a message, Miss Ming, the sky has turned upside down. One day you will ask me to find the man's number for you. Su Duan Duan is an intelligence chief, and she used to be the only one who sold Ming Shuang's contact information to others. How is it, have you caught up? Ming Shuang's mood improved, why don't you ask what it looks like? I trust your vision. Okay, actually, I've seen the photos before. Tanfu school grass is very handsome, and it's still a clean grass. Unexpectedly, Su Duan Duan said, otherwise, don't go to harm this innocent male high school. Ming Shuang. She buckled and asked, Am I not an innocent girl's high school? Women's high school is genuine, let alone pure love. Su Duan Duan returned a Doraemon shocked emoji. I just broke my heart into eight petals and gave them to different men. Ming Shuang said lazily. Fart. Su Duan Duan replied, Where can you find eight that you like? The first hospital in Dank Hung, the internal medicine ward, the door is empty. The little nurse pushed open the door and came in. Yi Jun was squatting by the hospital bed to wipe Ding Ili's face, and the two were talking in a low voice. Your son is really good. The little nurse changed her medicine and couldn't help but praise her, smart and filial, he should only be in college, right? You can pay for the medical expenses for your parents and you still come so hard. Some parents are hospitalized, and it is not that they have never seen their children. Half an hour. Not our son. Ding Ili was a little embarrassed. Yi Jun said, it's a relative's child. When Ding Ili saw it, his tongue was knotted, he was in a hurry, and he changed his mouth as if he had cleared the relationship, the neighbor's child. Zhang Huai pushed open the door and came in, carrying a bag of medicine in his hand. Ding Ili and Yi Jun were silent, and the room fell into embarrassment. The medicine is ready, ring the bell if you have any questions. 
Even the little nurse noticed something was wrong, and her gaze shifted from the boy's face to the faces of Ding Ili and his wife. The appearance is indeed different. The couple both look like ordinary people with fine eyebrows and fine eyebrows. The door was closed again. This is the medicine and payment slip for this period. Zhang Huai's voice was indifferent, I wrote the doctor's advice on a note, and my uncle sent a copy on his mobile phone. Be careful not to eat too cold. He looked as usual, as if he hadn't heard the previous conversation at all, there are classes tomorrow, so I'll go back to school first. In the night, Zhang Huai rode a car galloping past, his short sleeves were blown by the wind, his back had begun to take shape, and his fine black hair was a little messy, and fell on his fair forehead. He came back from the hospital with a faint smell of disinfectant on his body, but Zhang Huai didn't hate this smell, and even sometimes made him feel more at ease. Someone on the side of the road gave him a long whistle. He ignored it, thinking it was a common gangster on the road. Unexpectedly, there was another voice, Hey, handsome guy. The voice was a sweet and crisp girl's voice, which was somewhat familiar. Zhang Huai stopped the car and looked over. There is a small park next to the road, which is used for the citizens to exercise. There is a girl sitting on the parallel bars, her hair is tied into a high ponytail, tied with a cloth tie, and she is wearing shorts, socks and canvas shoes, too white and slender his legs were swaying freely, and he was holding his cheeks, whistling at him. And completely changed clothes during the day at school. Brother, why don't you reply to my text message? Ming Shuang pretended to be simple, do you think my food is not delicious? Is it because my brother has too many good sisters and can't tell the numbers? She babbled nonsense, throwing dirty water on him with her eyes open. Zhang Huai. It was the first time in his life that he met such a girl, and he really didn't know how to deal with it. Don't go. Ming Shuang wanted to jump off the parallel bars and chase after him. It was dark and dark, and he couldn't see the road clearly. Zhang Huai only heard a scream from behind, followed by the sound of canvas shoes stumbling on the sand. He stopped the car, his heart sank, and walked quickly towards the screaming direction. In the darkness, a shadow rushed over with a fragrant wind, light and warm and sweet, completely wiping away the smell of disinfectant remaining on his body. Ming Shuang didn't expect that he would actually come, so she grabbed his waist and touched it. Very thin waist. He reacted and quickly pushed her away. Ming Shuang stood firm and laughed loudly. The end of her slightly curled ponytail drew a playful arc in the night wind. The girl's laughter was sweet and crisp, and she couldn't stop laughing. Zhang Huai was still standing in the same place, his ears were hot, and blood seemed to be rushing to his face. Are there many girls who gave you love letters before? Ming Shuang asked loudly, chasing after him. She just didn't leave, she trotted after his car. It was late, and the street was quiet and empty. The girls were dressed in cool clothes, and Bai Shenshen's long legs seemed to glow in the night. His speed slowed down, Ming Shuang usually neglected to exercise, and happened to be unable to catch up. Now he hurried to catch up, stretched out his hands, and stopped in front of his car. You haven't answered me yet. She kept asking repeatedly, as if she really cared about this question, is there any? No. Zhang Huai finally said bluntly without looking at her. What the are you trying to do? Before his heartbeat could calm down, for the first time in his life, an indescribable ambiguous shame spread. I just want to be friends with you, brother. Just after trotting for a while, Ming Shuang's white and tender face flushed slightly, she supported her knees, took a breath, her eyes were bright as stars, and she said casually. Zhang Huai didn't know if she could call any boy's brother who had just known each other for a day. Thinking of the boy in the photo she sent, and the storm she had caused in the class for a long time, he was silent. You look good. Ming Shuang seemed to be thinking seriously about the reason why she wanted to be friends with him, seductive. The hot and dry wind of early summer brushed her cheeks, and under the thick green camphor trees, the street lamps shone faintly, 
her eyes blinked, and the girl's innocence and charm came to her face with the wind of the summer night. The grades are also good. You can borrow me to copy your homework in the future. The author says, celebrating our 15 chasing beauty has taken a small step forward. The first two chapters have been slightly revised, and some interactive details have been added. You can reread if you want. Xiao Huai was completely eaten to death later. Note, I just broke my heart into eight petals and gave them to different men. This sentence is quoted from the internet. The starry night is vast, and the summer wind blows. Zhang Huai has been accustomed to suppressing his emotions since he was a child. He was not born with a warm personality, and became colder as he grew older. As long as he can remember, his life has been a pool of extremely painful stagnant water. From time to time, sharp stones are smashed in, cutting the skin and making people bleed. In this world, there are also people who can live brightly and indulgently like this. The teenager pushed the cart forward, and Ming Shuang trotted to catch up with him, still panting, with a trembling voice at the end, Brother, please slow down, I won't be able to keep up with you. Ruan Yangfen's words suddenly sounded out of place in his mind. Very whiny, very sticky. Zhang Huai did not speak. With the faint light of the street light, Ming Shuang looked up and saw the boy's long eyelashes trembling slightly, his skin was white, and the red behind his ears could not be hidden. It's so late, I'm a girl, you won't let me go back alone, will you? She stretched her voice. I heard that the security around here is not good, I'm not familiar with the road, and I'm beautiful, so I don't know how to touch it. To the rogue. Zhang Huai seemed to be indifferent, she was the only one singing the one Emin show until she came to the corner. Which way? He asked coldly, not looking at Ming Shuang. Ming Shuang blinked and smiled, Brother, are you taking me home? Don't worry, my family lives near here not far. She seemed to have completely forgotten that two minutes ago, she said that she was not familiar with the road. This road is connected to Nanyuan Road, and there is a famous villa area nearby. Located within the Third Ring Road of Dankhung, the transportation is convenient, the environment is quiet and suitable, and there are famous schools such as Dankhung International, so it is also a place where famous Dankhung families gather. Many rich people will choose to buy a set of real estate here. I sneaked out of the house to play and sat here watching the stars. I didn't expect to see you suddenly when I lowered my head. Ming Shuang said, it's mainly because you are too handsome and conspicuous. So brother, can you copy my homework tomorrow? Ming Shuang rubbed her nose on her face and repeated the old words, I just transferred to another school, I'm not familiar with my life. I'm still adapting, I really don't have time. Write it myself, he said lightly. Cut. Ming Shuang pouted. The girl had her hands behind her back, her voice was light, and she said something from time to time, the cold and beautiful boy pushed the car and walked a little ahead. It was a beautiful summer night. The sound of a horn came from behind, the beam of light broke through the night, a black Mercedes Benz slowly drove by. The car stopped beside them, the co-pilot rolled down the window, revealing the face of a handsome young man, he asked in surprise, 15, why are you here? Lukuo also has a villa nearby. After the dinner, he sent Ming Shuang home, and then went out to do some errands. When he returned, he heard the driver say that he saw Miss Ming walking with a boy, and was on the road ahead. He thought it was the driver who had mistaken the person, but when he saw that it was really Ming Shuang, he was surprised. He looked at Ming Shuang, and then at the boy, he was very unfamiliar, he didn't know him at all. Brother Liu. Ming Shuang called him, I ate too much at night, so I went out for a walk. Liu Kuo was a little helpless. Ming Shuang looked like Yu Xiu and was cute when she was a child, but she was so wild that no one dared to restrain her. Liu Kuo said, Come on, get in the car, I'll take you home. That's you. He wanted to ask the boy, only to find that the boy had gone far when they were talking. Ming Shuang stared at Zhang Huai's back, 
the corners of her lips rose, new classmate. She obviously didn't want to say more about the boy, so she put on her headphones after getting in the car and listened to music in the back seat. Lukuo wanted to ask several times, but he endured it. When Zhang Hui returned to the dormitory, it was already 11 o'clock, and it was time to turn off the lights. Ruan Yangfen slept outside and left a lamp for him, the squad leader is back. Several people still haven't slept, Wang Tao is reading online novels with relish, and Ruan Yangfen is playing games. High school life is boring, time is precious, and they only have this little time each day for themselves. I have a buddy in the world, and I asked him about Ming Shuang when I was eating. Yang Gus who pressed the phone in the bed, he has replied to the news now. What's up? Wang Tao raised his face from the novel. Who says men don't like gossip, they are all good at it. It is said that she has a very hot personality, most people can't eat it, many people chase her, and she has a lot of scandals. It's probably like this. It seems that she suddenly changed schools because of a man. I don't know what it has to do with her. I'll ask her next time. Who? Ruan Yangfen said, then I have her condition, and I am also a scumbag. When I get older, I think I will be very good at playing. He went on to say, the family is so rich and I am pretty. Come and play with me anytime. Grass, why don't you look in the mirror and wake up? Several people burst into laughter. Tell you guys, I just found out yesterday that there's a pretty girl in our next class. The topic turned away from Ming Shuang again. Seventeen or eighteen-year-old boys have nowhere to vent their energy. Under the huge study pressure in high school, the bedtime chat before going to bed has become a great way to relieve stress. At this time, I usually don't talk about learning, and the topics are all around beauty and games. Zhang Huai never participated, and everyone was used to his reticence and indifference. He has a very regular schedule. The starry sky was shining brightly outside the window, and the fan in the dormitory was creaking. Zhang Huai closed his eyes, feeling a little gloomy rarely. This summer, the belated heat wave came very suddenly. The next day, early self-study, Ming Shuang was late. Halfway through the early self-study, she was long in coming. The English teacher on duty was soft-tempered, and someone greeted her in advance. She just told her not to be late next time, and asked her to return to her seat. The homework was assigned yesterday, three test papers, and Ming Shuang also got one. Most of the people had already done a lot of work in the self-study class yesterday afternoon. Ming Shuang slept all afternoon and naturally didn't write a word. She was still drowsy, and as soon as she put away her school bag, she lay down on the table to catch up on sleep after a while. Class 201 had a quiet morning self-study. Today is English self-study. Most of the students are reviewing books, memorizing vocabulary, grammar, and composition sentences. Ming Shuang was very conspicuous when she was sleeping alone. Her school uniform had not arrived yet. She was wearing a small suspender hood, a rose-gray thin shirt, and short hot pants. Wu Ching Miao borrowed a book and looked back at her secretly. She seems to be dressed differently every day. Yesterday she was pure JK, and today she is a hot girl again. But the skin is fair and beautiful, and she looks good in anything she wears. Sitting with Zhang Huai, who was reading indifferently, had a very different temperament, but it was inexplicably seductive. She secretly took out a small mirror and looked at her simple ponytail and school uniform, and a new pimple appeared on the right side of her face and some unspeakable sourness appeared in her heart. Who doesn't want to be able to look good in high school, wear clothes they like, and openly pursue the boys they like? The bell rang soon after class. Ming Shuang just woke up slowly, she slept too soundly, her face was tender, and a shallow crease was pressed by her arm on the right side of her face. Good morning. She greeted Zhang Huai, and halfway through, she yawned again, rubbing her eyes, but she was ignorant and cute. Zhang Huai glanced at the obvious dark circles under her eyes. It's all your fault. 
Ming Shuang noticed his eyes and pointed at her dark circles. Just as Zhang Huai was about to speak, she saw that she proudly took out three test papers from her school bag, all of which were filled to the brim, Stingy, you won't lend me your homework to copy, and I will write it myself until midnight. How are you going to pay me, brother? She deliberately lowered her voice, using a volume that only the two of them could hear. His eyes were shining brightly, and a thin collarbone was exposed, and there was a sweet and girly fragrance on his body. Zhang Huai tightened her fingers, her expression still as usual. Ming Shuang looked from the side and found that he had a small red beauty mole from the back of his neck to his shoulders, but the position was subtly stuck at the dividing point between what he could see and what he could not see. Can't see again. In the early morning sun, his face is clear and beautiful, human beings have some quirks, such as seeing a spot of fresh snow, they can't help but want to step on footprints Li Chiaotian, the representative of the English class, held the paper and happened to walk to their desk and whispered, Monitor, the homework is closed. Only then did Ming Shuang realize that half of her body was about to fall on Zhang Huai, but she didn't care, stretched out, and handed her the test paper kindly, This is mine. Oh, thank you. Li Jiaotian took the test paper, her eyes fixed on Zhang Huai. Zhang Huai took out the test paper from the drawer and put it on the table. She flattened Zhang Huai's test papers, placed them at the top of the stack of test papers, and continued walking to the next row. Zhang Huai is like that. There are many girls in the school who like him, no one has ever succeeded, and it is even more hopeless than rejection he has no intention of this at all, and no one can impress him, like a cold snow in winter. After lunch, Zhang Huai had not returned to the classroom. Ming Shuang had a headache when she saw the book, and planned to walk around the class. She brought a lot of Hokkaido students from home to school today, and only gave them to girls, and soon broke the ice with everyone. Many people found that Ming Shuang was easier to get along with than expected, so they slowly let go of their courage and started chatting with her. At noon, the classroom was sparsely populated. The girls sat around Wu King Miao's seat in the front row and chatted. Ming Shuang waved her hand again, and gave everyone an all-inclusive afternoon milk tea, and you could order whatever flavor you like. Inadvertently talked about Zhang Huai. The squad leader's grades are really good. Wu Qing Miao spoke of Zhang Huai, his face was a little red, is it the most promising of our level to be the champion of the province? She and Zhang Huai both ascended directly from Tanfu Junior High School. In junior high school, Zhang Huai was not as dazzling as he is now. The boy had a beautiful face, but he was very cold, extremely unsocial, and very defensive. We used to secretly call him Ice Beauty. Ning Yu, who was also a helicopter student, joked. Later, in high school, Zhang Huai grew up completely. He was tall and had a good temperament. In addition, his original grades had always been ranked first so more and more people began to notice him. The monitor participated in the competition before and won the best place in our affiliated high school. Wu Qing Miao said, our Shujing teacher said that Zhang Huai is the most talented student he has ever brought. Oh! Ming Shuang said dryly, that's pretty awesome. Anyway, for her kind of scumbag, it sounds quite high, and it is not clear how powerful it is. But later, he didn't want to continue to participate in the competition. Wu Qing Miao said, I don't like it anymore, I want to take the college entrance examination. Actually, this is also beneficial. Ning Yu said, Anyway, if you can get the provincial champion in the college entrance examination, you can read the top as well, and the scholarship will not be less. Zhang Huai is not partial to subjects, and his grades are stable and good in every subject. The bell for self-study in the afternoon rang soon, and Ming Shuang also returned to his seat to make up for sleep, and the seat next to him was still empty. Tanfu summer vacation starts in mid-July. Because of the exams in a few days, there are very few courses in these days. However, for the students of class 201, there is no pressure on the exams, the questions are too simple, 
and the physics and chemistry students get full marks in the exams. The foundation of political and geographical history is there, and it is enough to read the book before the exam. Many people have already started to do the college entrance examination mock paper. In the afternoon, Zhang Huai hadn't come back. Ming Shuang noticed that the seats in the class were quite empty, so she asked a girl casually where they were going. It should be going to the library. The girl said, this Friday, you can go to the library for self-study in the afternoon. Tanfu's library is a special single-family building. The sun is hot outside. When Ming Shuang arrived at the library, she was sweating. She understood the general structure and went inside. The wooden shelves are full of classified books, with a faint smell of ink. Ming Shuang passed through the black mountain of books, walked to the self-study area, and saw Zhang Huai at a glance. He was sitting alone at the table by the window, holding a pen and concentrating on his calculations. When he focuses on one thing, he can't see everything next to him. Once addicted, it is extremely difficult to withdraw. He felt a sudden ice on his cheeks, and his pupils suddenly widened. The girl held a can of cold sparkling water in one hand and pressed it against his face, with a sly smile on her face. Ming Shuang put her school bag down on the chair opposite him. Zhang Huai didn't take her drink, didn't drive her away, and didn't change her seat by herself. I haven't issued a student card yet, so I can't get into the library. Ming Shuang seemed to complain, the uncle at the door wouldn't let me in. I waited in the sun for a long time before someone came in with her card. It killed me. She was born white and turned red as soon as she basked in the sun. Ming Shuang muttered to himself, and did not expect Zhang Huai to return. After a few minutes. Crack, with a crisp sound, a card was thrown over. The boy withdrew his hand in silence and continued to write the test paper with his eyes down. On one side of the card is his upright and beautiful face, and next to it is his ID and name, Zhang Huai. Brother, are you trying to lure me with photos? Ming Shuang caught it, blinking her eyes, you don't have to, you look better in person than in photos. Zhang Huai. He almost wanted to take the card back, but he smiled at Ming Shuang, and he held back his words, blood gushing behind his ears. You gave it to me. What do you use? Ming Shuang asked again. This is a spare card. His tone was even colder than before, and he didn't even look at her. Zhang Huai seemed to acquiesce to her to sit down opposite. After this episode, he quietly changed a piece of calculation paper and continued to do his own thing. Ming Shuang put away the card and looked at Zhang Huai for a while bored. He seemed to be writing a math paper. Mathematics is the only subject she can read for the time being, and she doesn't bother to read other subjects with many words. Zhang Huai's characters are beautifully written, as are the numbers. She was bored and flipped through the drafts he used up, many of them couldn't understand. The boy's eyelashes suddenly trembled, and his black eyes suddenly looked at her, mixed with shock and indescribable emotions. The girl's snow-white slender legs, like snakes, hooked onto his right leg, kicked him lightly, and quickly released it as if nothing had happened. Brother, why are you blushing? A small piece of paper was pushed over, with round writing, she looked at him with a pure face, her expression pure and innocent. A coquettish beauty snake that eats people. Zhang Huai stood up from the seat with her school bag in her hand, her lips were red from biting herself, and her ears were hot, and the numbers were all forgotten. The author says, the beauties I write must have beauty moles on their bodies qwq. Some people are in the collarbone, some people are in the back shoulder. A little late today, sorry duck. Zhang Huai was walking among the bookshelves in the library. The shadow swayed behind him, and the beauty snake swam over. Zhang Huai pursed his lips tightly and continued to walk forward. He heard Ming Shuang calling his name from behind as if he was caught by an invisible rope, and his steps became slower and slower. Zhang Huai kept a distance from her, turned her back to her, and her body was still a little stiff. Brother, you forgot to take this. 
Ming Shuang panted slightly and stretched out a hand. She was a head shorter than him, with a small swirl of hair on top of her head. Manuscript paper and test papers on the table. Zhang Huai went straight back to the dormitory. The windows of the boys' dormitory were tightly closed, and the three roommates were not there. After school, he went back to the class, Ming Shuang's seat was empty, and the people had already left. He stared at the empty seat for a few seconds, put away his school bag, and left the classroom. Yunbei Road and Nanyuan Road are not too far apart. Tanchinch was expanded 15 years ago. Fortunately, this area was the beneficiary of the expansion in that year. In the building, this low-rise residence is particularly eye-catching. Every year it is said that the demolition will be imminent, and it is said every year, but it has never been realized. This has become the best wish of the residents of Yunbei community. Yi Jun came back from the hospital and packed some hospital clothes for Ding Ili. He took the key to open the door and bumped into the boy who was going out with his school bag on his back. Yi Jun was a little embarrassed thinking about what happened yesterday, and called out, Xiao Huai. Yi Jun looked up at him, and suddenly found that Zhang Huai was so tall, half a head taller than Yi Kong, but he was used to seeing Yi Kong, who weighed 170 pounds. Are you all right? Tell uncle if you need anything. Zhang Huai lowered her eyes and said nothing. The medical expenses you paid for your aunt. Yi Jun asked tentatively, where did the money come from? Scholarship. The boy said lightly. Yi Jun wiped his hand repeatedly on his clothes, Ding Ili suddenly had pancreatitis, and he couldn't go out to work during this time. Yi Kang's side was spending a lot of money. He hesitated several times, not knowing what to say. Seeing Zhang Huai turning around to leave, he hurriedly said, I'll send. Just after chasing him to the door, the phone in Yi Jun's pocket rang. It was Yi Kang's call, and he hurriedly went back to the back room to answer it. I understand, I understand. Yi Jun put the phone to his ear with difficulty, I'll call you a thousand tomorrow. Yi Kong is the son of Yi Jun. He is twenty this year. He didn't go to high school. He is now working as an apprentice in an auto repair factory. I don't know how much he has learned. Where's the beggar? An unpleasant, hoarse male voice came from the other side of the phone. Two thousand, two thousand, right. Yi Jun lowered his voice. Yi Kong roared impatiently, I don't know where the money has gone. If you have money to support a that has nothing to do with you, you don't have money to spend for your own son, right? Yi Jun was so frightened that his face turned pale, and he quickly covered the phone, don't talk nonsense. If you are involved in the Zhang family's affairs, you can't make random comments. Yi Jun and Yu Yan both came from other provinces, and their great-grandmothers were close relatives. In this generation, they are no longer related. However, they both came to Tanchinch for development. Yi Jun came to work, and Yu Yan came over to go to university. In the past, Yi Jun's impression of Yan was that she was beautiful and quiet since she was a child, but she didn't know what she was thinking about all day long. She was still a famous college student, a golden phoenix flying out of the chicken coop. But Yu Yan died very early, notorious at the time of death leaving behind a child a few years old. When she was alive, she never allowed her children to call her mother, and said she was a relative's child. She gave the child the surname Zhang. Who is the father of the child, Yi Jun never dared to ask more questions. After hanging up the phone, he hurried out the door, Zhang Huai had already left. The Tanzhou River is a famous ancient river. It runs through the city. Even in the hot summer, the riverside is always cool. The night wind blows gently, accompanied by the huge roar of the engine. Expensive locomotives galloped past, setting off a wave of air. With the helmets off, the riders are still teenagers. Sitting under the cold drink booth by the river, several people happily sipped their necks and drank iced soda. Zhang Xiao is in a good mood today. Who you looked at Zhang Qianzang's face, why? Something good. 
Zhang Xiao has a new girlfriend, so happy. To talk about Zhang Qianzang's ex-girlfriends, there are too many to count, like the stars in the sky. Zhang Qianzhang snorted, and threw the empty jar in his hand into the trash, it's time for separation. His face was full of arrogance, those women, don't they just take a fancy to my family's wealth, and post one by one, it's meaningless. Yes, those women are worthy of our young master Zhang. Li Qingjian said, with a flattering tone. Zhang Qianzhang was noncommittal, not knowing what to think, his face became distorted again. Fuck, Ming Shuang. His knuckles creaked, wait, see how I treat her in the future. At the same time, in Jinjiang East China Sea, Ming Shuang lay lazily on the beach and sneezed. Miss, what's the matter? Su Tianbei came over, is it cold? Stay away from me, stinky. Ming Shuang wrinkled her nose in disgust. Su Tianbei pressed his hot face to his cold buttocks, begging for nothing, yes, yes, only beautiful men can stay by our little fifteen. Ming Shuang's eyes are high, typical eyes are above the top, and he is even more critical of men. It's good to know. Ming Shuang squatted by the beach grabbed a small crab, and turned over to look at the structure curiously. I heard that you are starting to exude charm again in Tanfu. Ming Shuang didn't lift her head, it's none of your business. Yes, it's none of my business, Ming Xiao is going back to Tanjinj next month. Su Tianbei rarely showed a proud smile, I don't know if it's none of his business. Fuck, what are you doing to me? Su Tianbei covered his and ran away. The weekend went by quickly. The first day on Monday, the first class is physics class. Ming Shuang leaned against the wall and was drowsy. She was in Jinjinj with a few children on weekends, and they played in the dark. It was very good for her to be able to get up to school today. Zhang Hui's back is straight, and his hand speed has slowed down when writing notes. He has already learned the content of this class. He pursed his lips and added a few simple formulas that he had omitted before. Ming Shuang listened to half the class, and occasionally admired the beautiful profile of the beauties next to her. It's a pity that Zhang Hui ignored her, wondering if she was still thinking about the library. During the lunch break, Zhang Hui came back early this time, and Ming Shuang was also there. He was holding a sugar bag, chewing, and his cheeks were slightly bulging, like a small hamster. When he saw him coming back, he asked him, Do you want to eat? Don't eat. Zhang Hui said coldly. Ming Shuang said, Don't you like sugar? The young man opened his mouth and was about to say something. Ming Shuang had already stood up, holding something in his hand, and shoved it against his lips, Try it, it's very sweet. The boy's lips were beautiful, with a thin layer of red. Although it was only for a moment, she felt the soft touch of his lips, and Ming Shuang's fingertips were inexplicably puffy. After she came back to her senses, she immediately said, I don't have that. I want to be light on what you mean. She found the right word and said it immediately. At least this time. Not trying to take advantage of him. Zhang Hui's body was stiff, and the taste of mint candy melted uncontrollably on the tip of his tongue a refreshing sweetness. He sat down without saying a word. Is it delicious? The girl held her cheeks and stared at him, blinking. Well. After a long silence, the sound was almost indistinguishable. His voice was originally clear, but with such a nasal sound, it was infected with an indescribable vague and seductive ambiguity. Did you just say it's delicious? Ming Shuang was excited. Well. She lengthened her voice deliberately, imitating him, you said so. My brother seduced me. She said quickly. How can you blame her for thinking so much? Zhang Hui is contradictory from head to toe. He is very beautiful, and he is pure and broken beauty, but every time he faces him like this, he can't help but want people to pull him down from that high shrine. The pen that the boy was writing on was crooked, his face was cold but his back was burning. 
I went to Jinchinch to play for two days on the weekend. Ming Shuang was in high spirits, and stretched out Bainan's arms in front of him, did I get a tan? Before waiting for Zhang Hui to answer, she had already started to answer herself, it's all my fault for this brand of sunscreen, I won't use it next time. She's so white that she gets sunburned easily. Zhang Hui couldn't help but swept across her arm, like a feather, it was easy to touch and quickly retracted. Su Tianbei happened to send a voice message. Seeing the screen of the phone, Ming Shuang became impatient, and rushed back with a voice, I almost crushed me last night, stop texting me, I'm going to school. Yesterday, they had an open-air barbecue. Su Tianbei slept on a beach chair and fell asleep. Ming Shuang just turned over and was crushed on the solace of his feet. He immediately kicked him a few times. Ming Shuang pressed the news. Zhang Huai's face had returned to her usual indifference, and she looked down at the book. Wu Zixiu Ming Shuang started to sleep again, the air conditioning in the classroom turned on a little bit, she shrank in her dream, and murmured in her sleep, where is my quilt? I don't know who I'm talking to, in a pampered and innocent tone. Zhang Huai put away his textbooks and looked over. Her cheeks were white, and she slept a little rosy, and her broken hair fell beside her cheeks. When she slept, she looked like a beautiful little pigeon, looking innocent and childish. Zhang Huai didn't want to look at her. He has never owned anything since he was a child. Pain is the eternal background of memory. He is a little confused and doesn't know how to deal with this brand new, unfamiliar another kind of hidden pain. The girl sneezed a little, her brows furrowed tightly, and she began to shrink into a small group. After a long while, he pulled out a new spare school uniform jacket from the drawer, kept a distance, and threw it on her, deliberately avoiding any contact. Immediately, without waiting for him to withdraw his hand. Ming Shuang has suddenly opened his eyes and grabbed his slender, cold fingers. The author says. Ming Shuang held Zhang Huai's finger her finger temperature was much higher than Zhang Huai's, Ming Shuang was born like this, like a little sun full of heat, no matter what the inner bottom is, the outside is hot and warm. The boy's fingers were cold, as if he had caught a small fish in the water. Ming Shuang suddenly had such a wonderful feeling. It's a pity that Xiaohu didn't want to be caught. Before the two of them could feel the touch, Zhang Huai quickly pulled his fingers back his complexion was originally pale, but now it seems to be even worse. I only knew Ming Shuang for a few days. It's been a long time, this is the first time he has this level of intimate contact with people, especially with a girl. Zhang Huai, did you feel uncomfortable just now? Ming Shuang said suddenly. The young man was slightly taken aback. It's just a feeling. Ming Shuang touched her fingers and said yo yo. Now I recall the first time I saw Zhang Huai, his reaction when she accidentally touched his finger. Now that I think about it carefully, it's not like targeting her, it's more like an instinctive reaction. She is not as heartless as she seems, in fact, many times, Ming Shuang can easily see everyone's true thoughts. As Ming Lichen participated in various occasions when he was a child, Ming Shuang saw a lot of things in the world. Many people wore masks and could stab you in the heart while smiling. Zhang Huai is very transparent perhaps at first, what she noticed at a glance was the clear and fragile feeling of fragility wrapped in indifference on his body. Zhang Huai did not answer her question. Ming Shuang didn't ask any further, she picked up her school uniform. Is this your school uniform? After a long while, the boy's cold voice came from the side ear, This is the new spare school uniform. Ming Shuang said casually, Why do you have spares for everything? A spare campus card, a spare school uniform, it seems that I will prepare two copies of everything. What kind of quirk is this? Zhang Huai did not speak. The first class in the afternoon was as dull as always. I lost my former friends in the world. Ming Shuang couldn't sleep anymore. He played with his mobile phone under the table, and fell asleep again after a while. Until Chen Xian in the back row poked her back and reminded, Shuang Shuang, 
there is a physics test later. Ming Shuang woke up suddenly. Is Tan Fu on the exam bar? She has only been here for a few days, and she has already taken two exams. Because I will be studying for the exam soon. Chen Xian said, it's been rare recently. Fortunately, it was a physics test, so Ming Shuang casually wrote it, occasionally looking sideways at Zhang Huai. When there were 40 minutes before the end of the exam, he had finished writing and left the paper ahead of schedule. The surrounding classmates are not surprised. Zhang Huai's outstanding performance made everyone convinced. Shuang Shuang, your physics is okay. Chen Xian chatted with her, although she couldn't compare with Zhang Huai, she saw that Ming Shuang in the front row was also writing very fast, and the pen did not stop. In general, the question is okay this time. Ming Shuang unscrewed the water bottle and took a sip. Ah, I think it's very difficult. Chen Xian said enviously, are you particularly talented in physics? Fortunately, my father used to be a PhD in condensed matter physics. Ming Shuang said, my mother and he are classmates with a master's degree, so I don't think I have inherited it. Chen Xian. She was a little shocked. Transferred from an international school, beautiful, rich, frivolous, and full of scumbag buffs, I didn't expect that they were still from a scholarly family. Ming Shuang didn't lie, she was indeed a scumbag. She could only see her math and physics grades, but because she often miscalculated numbers and omitted steps, her grades weren't that high. English is okay because I lived abroad for a long time when I was a child, but other subjects are a mess. Ming Shuang came back after lunch. The weather in Tanzhou is famous for its bad weather. It is sultry and hot in summer, and the wind blows on the body. Ming Shuang strolled outside for a while, turned around and looked out the window, and saw a strange girl standing beside her seat, talking to Zhang Huai. The two kept their distance, and the atmosphere was very distant and polite, but Ming Shuang was still uncomfortable, and she was about to have an attack. Zhang Huai and Li Miaoxian were talking, and suddenly they both heard a knock on the glass. Looking sideways, she saw Ming Shuang's bright amber cat eyes, she was standing leisurely outside the window, bending her fingers, knocking on the glass one after another, Zhang Huai saw it, Li Miaoxian also saw. This is... Li Miaoxian asked. Seeing Ming Shuang's confident face and her eyes wandering over them, she pursed her lips, cleared her expression, and asked Zhang Huai, Zhang Huai, is this your girlfriend? No. Zhang Huai said. The girl is the monitor of the next class and came to him to ask about the meeting time tomorrow. After he finished talking to her in a few words, Li Miaoxian left with the notebook. Ming Shuang appeared in the class after a while. She didn't sit down, she folded her arms and looked at Zhang Huai. I just left for a while. Her tone seemed to be full of condemnation, brother, can't you stand alone and cheat so quickly? Zhang Huai knew that she liked to talk nonsense to herself. However, he was still pierced by those words, and the back of his ear became hot. No, he said stiffly. Nothing, no loneliness, no cheating. Ming Shuang blinked. It's a pity that Ming Shuang didn't let him go. Men are all liars. You told me a few days ago that you haven't received many love letters. Zhang Huai. Big liar, she muttered, not sitting down. I did not lie to you. He'd never read it, so he didn't know what it was written, and it certainly wasn't a love letter. He didn't care about these things at all, but at the moment he simply didn't want her to feel that he was lying. Ming Shuang, oh. Then I'll trust you for once. Ming Shuang said, but I felt uncomfortable just now. Next time you want to make up for me all at once, how can I make it up? Wait for me to think about it, don't default on your debt. Some memories suddenly flooded into my mind uncontrollably. That night, she touched his waist, and in the library a few days ago, she hooked his leg. I can imagine what her request would be. He lowered his eyes, pursed his thin red lips tightly didn't even look at her, 
spit out two words, No. No, why? Ming Shuang held her face and said naively, Brother, can't you? Men can't say no. Zhang Hui froze in his seat, his brain was buzzing, and his face was white and red. He ignored her all afternoon, with a cold and beautiful face. There is a small cafe in the corner of Tanfu School Gate. Because it is next to Tan University, the school occasionally has college students from next door, and the campus facilities are also very complete. The wind chimes hanging at the entrance of the cafe are ringing in the wind. The weather was getting gloomier, with leaden grey rain clouds piling up on one side, a harbinger of impending downpour. It was very late when Zhang Hui left the teaching building. He saw the familiar shadow under the camphor tree on the campus at a glance. He wanted to look and left without looking, but when he passed by, his footsteps involuntarily slowed down a few steps. Ming Shuang was squatting in a corner under the tree, with her school bag aside, watching intently. Zhang Hui walked by sure enough, Ming Shuang spotted him at a glance, raised her eyes and waved at him excitedly, Zhang Hui, come and have a look, come and have a look. What she was looking at turned out to be a nest of ants. The girl was fair and clean, but she didn't dislike being dirty at all. She squatted under the tree and looked at the nest of ants with great interest. He wanted to leave, but Ming Shuang grabbed the school uniform and put it back. Dragonflies are flying low and the ants have moved, which means it's about to rain heavily. Ming Shuang licked her nose, I seem to be able to smell the water vapor. This is what my mother told me when I was a child. When she said this, her eyes were rare and tender, a story you told me before going to bed. She is sometimes like a child, unpredictable. Zhang Hui lowered her eyes. Didn't your mother tell you before? The wind was getting stronger and stronger, and the damp water vapor rolled in. He shook his head, and his beautiful black eyes flashed a lot of complicated emotions in an instant, no. Then you are not so pitiful. Ming Shuang said casually, her voice was sweet, and her coaxing words were even more so, but don't worry. I will treat you well in the future, and read a story to you every night before going to bed. Put you to sleep, what do you want to hear? The princess and the pea or the daughter of the sea? Zhang Hui said nothing. He heard his own heartbeat. The feeling of being deprived and forcibly suppressed since he was a child seems to be forcibly pulled by something. This kind of feeling is unfamiliar, which makes him indescribable pain, but there is a different kind of emotion in the pain. To this unfamiliar and belated wave. He was confused and subconsciously resisted. To pick her up Lin Chongji came from across the campus, looking for her everywhere, Xiao Shuang. The phone rang in Ming Shuang's pocket, she stood up and answered the phone, not knowing who was on the phone, her voice became deliberately sweet, brother, on the way home, go back right away. Zhang Hui's fingers holding the umbrella froze for a moment. He broke free from his inexplicable thoughts and walked towards the school gate. The Ming family's villa was as warm as spring, and one could hardly feel any chill outside. The master bedroom in Ming Shuang's room is in the middle of the second floor. It is a full 100 square meters. Nearly half of it is a huge cloakroom. There are all kinds of clothes and accessories hanging there. Many of the clothes are not even worn by the brand. The specially customized seasonal new products that came to the door filled most of the cloakroom. The owner of the room was lying on the sofa looking at his mobile phone, his waist-length curly beautiful long hair was casually scattered on his slender shoulders, he was wearing a short shirt and pumpkin trousers, and the girl's slender and lustrous legs were stretched out without image. On the edge of the sofa, Su Tianbei knocked on the door and came in exaggeratedly covering his eyes as soon as he came in, I don't know how to dress properly. Then you picked your eyes. Ming Shuang didn't lift her head. Ming Xiao will return to Tanchenj in a few days. She was just too busy dealing with him, so she didn't care what to wear. Ming Lichen returned to China today. There was a banquet at Ming's house, and many people came. Except for Ming Shuang's few hairy boys, there were also many celebrities in Tanchenj. Ming Shuang casually got up from the sofa, 
ready to go to the cloakroom to choose a dress. She didn't like this kind of occasion, and every time she had a smile on her face, she was very annoyed in her heart. A few entertainers even came to the banquet. Less than 20 years old, in fact, they are about the same age as them, and they are good looking. They are also very enthusiastic about Ming Shuang, perhaps a little too enthusiastic, to the point of deliberate flattery. Ming Shuang thought casually and unconsciously compared them with Zhang Hawai. Appearance and temperament are far worse than Zhang Hawai. Between the dinner parties, Ming Shuang went back to her bedroom to simply touch up her makeup. She sat down on the sink, without raising her skirt visibly, looked at her phone, and sent Zhang Hawai a message. She got his number before, but Zhang Hawai never responded to her text messages, so she just searched WeChat with the number, and she found an account with a default profile picture, which looked very much like Zhang Hawai, so she applied to be added as a friend. Zhang Hawai approved her friend application yesterday, but she has not sent any news. Ignore me, what are you doing through my friend application? Ming Shuang sent another message. Ming Shuang's WeChat avatar is a grinning green dinosaur named 16 Yuan. Zhang Hawai's WeChat name is his real name, which is as simple as a human being. There is nothing in the circle of friends. The initial grey avatar and the background are also the default background of pure grey. For him, it should be a simple means of communication, not worth any effort to modify. Zhang Hawai was not at school. A lead grey residential building, the floor was a bit old and washed by the rain. The teenager was in the bathroom, turned on the faucet, and the water was rushing out. He carefully washed himself from beginning to end, especially his fingers. He looked at his hands, a pair of clearly articulated, white hands, and could not see any dirt. However, I couldn't help it, I felt dirty. This body is dirty, starting with the blood gushing in the veins. The young man's expression was cold and tired. Suddenly, he slammed his fingers against the wall, and blood stains slowly poured out. He was pale, and put it in place with a band-aid. That little residual temperature has long since disappeared and can no longer be touched. It was a thunderstorm in summer outside, and it was crackling on the window. Zhang Hui changed a piece of clothes. The rain outside the window was getting heavier and heavier. There is a locust tree at the door, which has been there for many years. The locust tree is the ghost in the wood. In folklore, it has always had an ominous meaning and is very yin. It is said that the locust tree can bloom when it is an adult, and the locust blossoms are white, very beautiful and clean. I don't know if this tree has rotted from its roots. It has been like this for more than ten years, and there is no sign of flowering. Zhang, Hawaii. His name, taken apart, every part, is what he himself detests. The phone on the table was still vibrating, he opened it, it was sent by Ming Shuang, it was a photo. The girl was wearing an evening dress, revealing a pair of slender and slender arms, her long hair was twisted up, and a few strands of curly hair fell playfully around her face. Behind it is a copper gold wash basin, and a mirror that occupies the wall. You can see a small piece of the back exposed behind the open back dress, with a pair of slender butterfly bones prostrate. Like a spotless, dignified little princess, standing in front of her magnificent palace. I want to show it to you. She whispered, do I look good? In the voice, the girl's voice appeared sweet and hazy across the rain. The author says, do you want your brother to sleep at night? Asterisk 1. The part of the information on the locust tree is quoted from Beidou. 2. Dragonflies fly low, ants move, and it rains heavily. This is a folk proverb. The locust tree in front of the door swayed in the wind and rain, the branches danced, and the shadow swayed in the night. The bright cream in the photo has thick and long eyelashes, and the eyes seem brighter than usual, proud, beautiful, and bright. Across the photo, he looked at him as if close at hand. It's not like the girl who squatted under the tree in the afternoon watching the ants move. And the playful ponytail girl sitting on the parallel bars does not look like a person. 
all beautiful. Zhang Huai suppressed the voice and put the phone in his bag. As if escaping something. The screen lit up again, and it was a message from Ming Shuang. 16 Yuan, the photo is only sent to you, if you like it, save it and it will not be replenished when it expires. 16 Yuan, a friendly reminder from Ming Shuang, WeChat photos will expire. Since Zhang Huai was a child, there were very few things that belonged to him. Loneliness, bumps, pain and unease were the background colors at the beginning of his life. At the age of 10, when Zhang Huai was in the most pain, he once asked that person, why me? The man replied, no why. Destiny is like that. He never tried to have anything. Ming Shuang is really a stubborn temperament. Zhang Huai didn't reply to the news, so she simply made a call. It was very slow to connect there. You could hear Zhang Huai's breathing over there, but he just didn't speak. So awkward. Ming Shuang didn't ask about the photo again, are you at home now? After a long while, a young voice came, Loli, wait to go out later. In addition to being ignorant of people, he is actually quite good, answering whatever he asks. It was raining like a waterfall outside, and Ming Shuang didn't ask why she was going out. She said, oh, then remember to bring an umbrella. By the way, where is your home? Ming Shuang comforted, don't worry, I won't turn over from the window in the middle of the night. Zhang Huai froze. He hadn't even thought of this possibility. That's right, you give me an address, and I can come and play with you during the holidays. Ming Shuang said, isn't it summer vacation soon? We can be considered friends. Ming Shuang boasted, and promoted herself, after I transferred schools and came here, I didn't know anyone, and I didn't have many friends. Deceive. She obviously has many different friends. The young man didn't dismantle her. He lowered his eyes, put on his school bag, took a coat, and closed the door. A few minutes later, the screen of Ming Shuang's mobile phone lit up with a message from Zhang Huai is his home address. Holding the phone, she smiled contentedly, and then she jumped off the sink without any image and jumped out the door. How can this person be so easy to deceive and coax, she will be deceived by her in the future until she has no bottoms. Li Qing happened to go upstairs with a plate and saw Ming Shuang, so happy. Aunt Li, does my makeup look good today? Ming Shuang was in a good mood and smiled when she saw her good-looking. Li Qing smiled, 15 is the most beautiful little girl. That's right, she's pretty. Zhang Huai didn't say it, but he must have felt that way in his heart. Ming Shuang tilted her head and combed her hair in front of the mirror, feeling very stinky. It was very windy outside. When Zhang Huai arrived at Yujugzhuan, he happened to be impartial. He arrived five minutes earlier than the agreed time. He waited outside the door for a while, and when it was time, he went in. At about 11 o'clock, Zhang Huai returned home, and not long after, there was a knock on the door outside the house. He opened the door, and there was a wet middle-aged man outside. He took off his poncho, and when he saw him, he couldn't help lowering his head to check the address. The address is right here, but the addressee is written. Zhang Myron Often, for safety reasons, women who live alone will write it as Mr. X, but I have rarely seen men who write it as women. The boss couldn't help but take a few more glances at the young man in front of him. He is indeed very handsome, with red lips and white teeth, beautiful. The boss feels that there is a generation gap between himself and the young people. Zhang Huai. His ears burned, his face flushed, and he didn't want to say a word. The boss lifted the lid of the thermal insulation box, and the fragrance immediately poured out. He took out bowls of various soups. Is it your girlfriend who called you? The restaurant owner smiled and wiped the rain off his forehead. Our family is an old brand, and it tastes good, the boss said. Just drink it while it's hot, don't waste your girlfriend's heart. My girlfriend is estimated to be very rich and she specially came to the restaurant to order. 
he also brought along a note saying that he was going to send it together. The boss saw that he was a big customer and did not dare to slack off, so he simply delivered it to the door himself. Young man, you're too thin, you'd better eat more. Seeing that the boy was tall but thin, pale skin, and not much blood in the summer, he couldn't help but say a few more words. Close the door. There was a note under the lunch box, Zhang Hui paused, and then pulled out the note. On it is the girl's chubby handwriting, when it rains, you have to drink warm soup when you go home. Because I didn't know what you like to drink, I bought it. Tell me the taste next time. The room was empty, the boy lowered his eyes, put away the note, and put it in the deepest part of his drawer. The next day, the physics quiz was issued. Zhang Hui is the only one with full marks in the grade. Ming Shuang is looking at her test paper, the bright red one on it has a score of 61, and the quiz has a perfect score of 100. This score will be passed. Zhang Hui saw it, but he didn't say anything and put his test paper in the drawer. This score surprised Chen Xian in the back seat. She said she wrote it so fast that day, she almost didn't finish it and she scored 71 points. Chen Xian was afraid that Ming Shuang would be embarrassed, but Ming Shuang didn't seem to care at all. Shuang Shuang, why are you writing so fast in the exam? She asked cautiously. Because you can hand in the papers as soon as you finish writing them. Ming Shuang thought for a while, and said sincerely, all my exams are the first to hand in the papers. But yesterday's record was broken by Zhang Hawaii. Chen Xian. The eldest miss is the eldest miss, and it is different from commoners like them, who regard the score as dung. Tanfu's weekly quiz rankings will be posted next to the multimedia. Ming Shuang was the last in line, echoing the first Zhang Hawaii. Ming Shuang didn't feel anything. Many in the class were not surprised either. In the end, they still have the arrogance of the students of the key class of Tan affiliated school the beautiful and playful young lady who transferred from the international school, this score is normal. Self-study in the afternoon, Ming Shuang originally made up for sleep as usual. Until she felt someone tap her desk. It is Zhang Hawaii. It was the first time he took the initiative to find her. The teenager was wearing a school uniform, carrying a school bag, fresh and clean, and stood by her desk. Zhang Hui pushed open the door of the cafe on campus, he reserved the two innermost seats, and then. Ming Shuang saw the physics book and the test paper, and the whole person wilted. I thought it would be good for him to invite her to the cafe, why didn't he go to the library to talk about the topic? Zhang Hui is supposed to be there every afternoon. The boy lowered his eyes, unable to see any emotion, the library will disturb others. Okay, okay. Forget that he's a well-behaved cub. Zhang Hui spread out Ming Shuang's test paper and picked up the pen. Ten minutes later. I don't understand. Ming Shuang rubbed her eyes and yawned. Zhang Hui. He was very patient, Ming Shuang said he didn't understand, so he wrote it again. Until Ming Shuang couldn't stand it anymore, she suggested, otherwise, you should talk more and write less. I will listen to your voice and not be so sleepy. Zhang Hui did not object. He is really obedient. Taking the formula apart and explaining it to her one by one, Ming Shuang listened to him and couldn't help but look sideways at his thin jawline and beautiful eyes. The thick and long eyelashes drooped slightly, leaving a rich shadow on the slightly pale skin, and she was very serious about telling her. The ice cubes in the coffee have melted. Zhang Hui didn't even notice it. Ming Shuang's prank thoughts resurfaced involuntarily. She shook her head with an innocent look on her face, I still don't understand. Otherwise, if you kiss me, I will understand. She pointed to her cheek and said obediently. The strokes Zhang Hui was writing were crooked. Is it agreeable not to refuse? Ming Shuang blinked. No. He fluttered his eyelashes presumably remembering something, and changed his mouth stiffly, I'll say it again. Ming Shuang was afraid that he would really say it again, and hurriedly raised her hand to surrender, 
it's all right, I understand, you can talk about the next one. In fact, Zhang Hui explained it very clearly, she just wanted to tease him. Forty minutes later, Ming Shuang collapsed beside the table like a dead fish. Zhang Hui went to the counter, ordered a waffle for her, and pushed it in front of her. In fact, she is very smart, but she is too jumpy and her attention jumps too fast. Thank you. Ming Shuang picked up the fork and ate with a big mouth full of relief. She didn't mention the soup last night, as if she hadn't given it. Zhang Hui was thin-skinned, and it was even harder to speak when he remembered the absurd signature. Ming Shuang suddenly asked, I heard Wu Ching Miao say before, why don't you continue to participate in the competition? Zhang Hui was silent for a moment, I don't want to participate anymore. Why, don't you like math? Zhang Hui shook his head. If so what do you like? Zhang Hui didn't answer, just in time, he looked at the clock hanging beside him, it's time to rest. Ming Shuang Watching Zhang Hui write is very pleasing to the eye, Ming Shuang is holding the sparkling water and watching him write notes for her. What's wrong with your finger? She suddenly noticed. A lot of band-aids were pasted on the young bamboo-like fair fingers. Ming Shuang's actions are always one step faster than her brain. She has already reached out and touched his knuckles, wanting to touch the injured part. Just when I touched it, Ming Shuang suddenly thought of Zhang Hui's quirks. However, he did not withdraw his hand, his eyes were lowered, and her fingers were held by her. Zhang Hui didn't say anything, and didn't withdraw his fingers. Aren't you uncomfortable? Ming Shuang withdrew her hand and tilted her head to look at him. The boy's eyelashes trembled and his lips were red. It's not hard, he said softly. He can endure. The author says, Xiao Hawaii is so cute. Scream. Before they were together, they had already begun to be bullied by fifteen. But he is the kind of simple beauty who feels that it is his fault when he is bullied by fifteen, in a sense, he asks fifteen for anything. Ming Shuang nests on the sofa at home and makes a voice call with Su Duan Duan. You said you just went out to play with the school grass again. Su Duan Duan is very gossipy. Intelligence dealers update their news database every day, how is it? Have you caught it? How long has it been? Su Duan Duan couldn't help giving a thumbs up, as expected of our eldest lady, yes, we showed our international style in Tanfu. Not long after, we got their signature school grass. Why didn't you ask us what we were doing out? Ming Shuang asked indifferently. Su Duan Duan paled in shock, why, Shuangzi, are you finally willing to share such details with us? Ming Shuang, do you want to hear completely inelastic collisions or quantum black body radiation? No no no. Su Duan Duan immediately said no. Don't speak foreign languages to undergraduates, thank you. Hurry up and say something yellow, I like to hear it. Ming Shuang. There is no yellow, only quantum. Su Duan Duan rolled on the bed with laughter, so, you mean, you all just read books and talk about topics when you go out. Can he enlighten you, so that you have a little culture in your stomach? I have a lot of culture in my stomach. Ming Shuang said, I'm still relatively smart, but I'm a little dizzy. When I overcome this weakness, I might be the first in the test. You can pull it down. Su Duan Duan didn't believe a word, that wild boar can climb the tree. By the way, a few days ago, I heard that Zhang Jianzhong was still talking harshly, saying that he wanted to show you a good look in the future. Su Duan Duan said mysteriously, you know? He recently changed another girlfriend, looks a bit like you. Ming Shuang made a vomit motion, don't make me feel nauseous, okay. The most disgusting thing for her is this kind of man. After talking on the phone with Su Duan Duan, Ming Shuang wanted to go to the kitchen on the first floor to get some dim sum for a late night snack. Ming's family has a dedicated dessert chef. Recently, they have been replaced by new people and their craftsmanship is very good. 
Ming Shuang came out of the small kitchen with a plate of chocolate blueberry tarts in her hand, and walked to her room while eating, but unexpectedly bumped into a tall figure in the living room. Ming Lichen should have just returned from the company, and the suit has not been changed. Lin Chongji is behind him, and the two are talking. Ming Lichen happened to be 50 this year. He was born with handsome and profound facial features, but he did not smile, and there were deep wrinkles between his eyebrows. He glanced at Ming Shuang, who pretended not to see him and continued to walk upstairs. Stand, he said. Ming Shuang took a bite of the egg in her hand, lowered her eyes, and called out perfunctorily, Dad. Are you going to study for the exam recently? Ming Lichen was a little surprised that Ming Lichen still had enough time to remember this trivial matter in his busy schedule. If you want to go abroad in the future, you also have to get a high school diploma. Ming Lichen said, Don't be too absurd. Ming Lichen is not a talkative person, so he left after saying a few words, and he had to rush back to Gu Wanning to accompany her. The Ming family has a lot of houses. After returning from abroad, Gu Wanning used the excuse that it would be convenient to go out with her sisters, and temporarily lived in the villa on the other side of the Buang River. Lin Chongji looked back at Ming Shuang, obviously wanted to say something, but did not speak, and hurriedly left with Ming Lichen. The huge room was exquisitely decorated and magnificent, but it was just empty. Ming Shuang walked around the room with bare feet, and heard the echo of her own footsteps. It was the only sound in the room. She didn't want to eat egg tarts either, so she returned to her room with a blank face, closed the door, and shrank into a small ball on the bed. I have been sitting at the same table with Zhang Huai for a long time, and occasionally looking at him from a distance makes me feel a little uncomfortable. Tan Fu will have a summary meeting at the end of each semester, mainly to commend and summarize outstanding students. Ming Shuang listened to the lengthy speech of the leader, and fell asleep in the audience until she saw Zhang Huai walk into the auditorium. She rubbed her eyes and looked left and right, only to realize that everyone around her was looking at Zhang Huai. It was a sunny day. The rainstorm a few days ago seemed to have left no trace at all, and the sky was like a wash. She looked at Zhang Huai from a distance. The boy's school uniform was neatly dressed and there was indifference and alienation in his politeness. Ming Shuang even saw a girl next door secretly took out her phone and took a photo. Ming Shuang was unhappy and wanted to recall the fact that Zhang Huai was actually very popular it could even be said that he was looked up to by many people. It's not even her property. She really doesn't like it. After the disbandment, Wu Qingmiao and Chen Xian walked together and saw Zhang Huai from a distance. For a moment, Ming Shuang walked side by side with him, but the crowd was surging and there were too many people. Like strangers just passing by. Wu Qingmiao stared at it for a while. The two are really out of line, no matter in terms of appearance, character, or temperament. Zhang Huai is extremely cold from appearance to personality, and doesn't seem to care much about anything. No one can enter his heart. Wu Qingmiao knew from a long time ago that her toes were rubbed on the ground and she didn't say anything. He doesn't like people. Even if she liked it, she felt that she would not be such a girl. It should be a motivated girl as good as him. Finally got to school. When Zhang Huai passed by the camphor at the entrance of the teaching building, he felt that the back of the school uniform was being pulled. In a blink of an eye, he saw the girl's amber cat eyes. Do you have time right now? After a while, Zhang Huai said, Yes. Then I'll take you to a good place. The little monster winked at him with a mysterious look on his face. After leaving the school gate, this generation is the central business district of Tanchinch, and there are people coming and going, Ming Shuang took him through the underground passage, turning left and right, the deafening music became louder and louder, and the surrounding light became dim but you can see neon flickering around. Game room. Ming Shuang saw the two arcade machines at the door, and snapped her fingers, have you been here? Zhang Huai shook his head and looked inside. From childhood to adulthood, this kind of place had absolutely nothing to do with his life. 
he is not interested in games, and has a quiet personality, and he does not like to come to noisy occasions. I used to play this when I was a kid. Ming Shuang pointed to him and looked at the coin slot of the two machines professionally. Unfortunately, this one has been eliminated, and no one is playing it now. All three of her children were male. Ming Shuang went wild with them when they were young. When Su Tianbei was in elementary school, he was very obsessed with arcade machines for a while. Although each family was richer than the other, they could often play for a game currency at that time. Stand up. Su Tianbei wasn't convinced of me at that time. Ming Shuang said, You have to fight me one oh none. Su Tianbei should be the boy who looked for her that day. He remembered that he was very close to Ming Shuang, and it turned out to be a relationship he had known since childhood. Zhang Huai has a good memory. He will not forget the faces he has seen once. He is quiet for a while and then asks, Then did you win? Ming Shuang smiled, Of course. The two rubbed their hands against each other, and she used Chunli to beat Su Tianbei all over the place to find his teeth. The girl drew a KO gesture her eyes shining brightly. Zhang Huai kept listening. He was also wearing a sandalwood school uniform. He was tall and thin, with red lips and white teeth. He looked neat and orderly, and stood out from the crowd in the surrounding environment. Ming Shuang stuffed a new suit of clothes in her school bag, and had already found a bathroom early to change it. She is wearing a wide t-shirt skirt, showing two white calves, a peaked cap and a high ponytail, and a very sophisticated street hot girl style. In this new world unfamiliar to him, she still shines. The two were young, and both had a good life, and people around them frequently turned their heads mainly to see Zhang Huai. Otherwise, take off your clothes too. Ming Shuang suggested. In summer, he only wears a short-sleeved school uniform. Zhang Huai stopped in her footsteps and looked at her with her clean black eyes. He obviously still remembers the things Ming Shuang did to him some time ago. Forget it, that's it. Ming Shuang held back a smile. It can be seen that this is indeed a field that Zhang Huai has never set foot in since childhood. Ming Shuang took him to play with all the machines. There is also a billiards table not far away. There were people smoking, drinking and swearing, all enjoying themselves. Zhang Huai stood in the backlit place, the messy lights flashed from his face, he still looked quiet and spotless. Ming Shuang suddenly had the illusion of bringing bad students but there was no guilt, it was cool, she liked it very much. After playing around for a while, the two walked to the exit, where there were several doll machines. Zhang Huai, what do you like? Ming Shuang pointed to the doll machine at the entrance, I'll catch it for you, I'm a master doll catcher. It was for little girls to play with. It was colorful, and the colors were all pink and white. Zhang Huai looked at it for a long time, then looked at Ming Shuang. Ming Shuang looked at his beautiful face. Own emotions. Obviously not interested. But because I'm not good at expressing, and I'm used to being patient, I don't want to spoil her, so I don't say it. The idea of prank suddenly flooded into Ming Shuang's heart. She pretended not to notice and said, Then wait, then I'll get you the best one. Zhang Huai. He really doesn't reject people. Ming Shuang smiled secretly, so she continued to operate the clips proficiently, and soon succeeded in grabbing an extra large melody and stuffing it to Zhang Huai. She wanted to laugh when she saw this scene, but she asked him maliciously, Why, does it look good? Do you like it? After a long while, she heard a very shallow like. Ming Shuang was a little surprised. She knew that Zhang Huai did not lie. What was even more unexpected was that Zhang Huai didn't even look embarrassed when he held the doll. Ming Shuang secretly complained in his heart that he must be blamed for his deceptive appearance of a good boy and a good student. Everything seems reasonable and there is a reason behind it. But Zhang Huai was in a good mood at the moment, and Ming Shuang could feel it. Because of the exercise just now, he was also sweating, and the collar of the school uniform was rarely seen. 
Ming Shuang glanced at the thin, half-curved collarbone exposed under his collar, and hid it delicately and quietly behind Melody's head. He was born slender, bright, pure, and plain. At this moment, his lips were extraordinarily red, and his pale face was also blood-colored because of the movement. There was an indescribable bewitching beauty in his innocence. Ming Shuang suddenly regretted catching such a big one for him. Walking at the exit, it was already dark outside, Ming Shuang answered a call and asked Zhang Hui to wait for her. The evening wind blew slightly on the boy's forehead. Zhang Hui took the doll and stood there, waiting quietly. From a very young age, he was used to waiting in loneliness without results. No one cared about his feelings. Where is his place in the world? With whom? It doesn't seem to be anywhere. But this time, the girl's brisk footsteps came, under the warm yellow light of the street lamp. She ran towards him panting. Ming Shuang acted like a juggler, and suddenly took out a bunch of flowers from behind. It was a bunch of little lilies, delicate and dripping, with dew on the petals. The boy remembered the hot soup that night, and the words came to his lips. Actually, it was given to me by someone else. Ming Shuang said, I don't like it, so I'll pass it on to you. He froze in place for a moment, unable to say what he felt, the secret joy that had just appeared was replaced by coldness, and a heart fell straight down. I lied to you, Ming Shuang said, I bought it and gave it to you. She was a little helpless herself. She rarely met a person like Zhang Hawaii. She believed anything she said. From the first time they met, Zhang Hui had been deceived by her. Can deceive him. The teenager pursed his lips, his clean and beautiful black eyes stared at her, his voice was a little hoarse, Ming Shuang, don't lie to me. No, I won't lie to you in the future. Ming Shuang said sincerely. It looks good, isn't it? Ming Shuang said again, it suits you very well. The girl's amber cat eyes are particularly agile, and the seventeen-year-old girl's expression is occasionally childish and pure, vigorous, like a dormant rose. Aggressive beauty full of vitality, an extremely beautiful face that has not yet fully grown. Zhang Hui held the spoils for her all the way. He was a head taller than her. The two walked not far or near. Ming Shuang didn't walk well, so he had to step on the protruding curb beside the road. Zhang Hui walked closer to her, and when she crooked, Zhang Hui supported her. When she regained her balance, she quickly let go, and she restrained herself and walked farther away from her. Ming Shuang smiled in her heart. Next time I'll take you to play it's more fun. Ming Shuang suddenly stood on tiptoe, trying to get close to his ear, and said loudly, Will you go? The heat was not far or near and deliberately sniffed at the tip of his ear wickedly. The author says, 15 is really a little expert at chasing people slash teasing Xiao Hui is really fun, Liao, he only lacks heart in front of 15. But 15 is a bad-hearted person, and his words don't count. After that, he lied to Xiao Hui many times, and Xiao Hui will be broken if he is deceived too much. After returning home at night, Ming Shuang couldn't help but click on WeChat and send Zhang Hui a message. 16 Yuan, are you home? Soon, Zhang Hui replied, not yet. 16 Yuan, I have already arrived. Then pay attention to safety on the road. Ming Shuang was lying on the bed, with two little feet up, and seriously instructed, you must send me a message when you get there. Ming Lichen didn't go home, the house was still empty. Ming Shuang's hair was draped over his shoulders, wearing pajamas, chatting with Zhang Hui Fa, humming a song in a good mood. Zhang Hui is a person who speaks very little. The same is true when chatting online. At the beginning, Ming Shuang sent him messages to harass him, but Zhang Hui didn't reply. Now he basically replies, although he still doesn't talk much. However, he was listening carefully to what Ming Shuang was saying. 16 Yuan, by the way, can you change your avatar? It always feels strange when I talk to you like this. Like talking to zombie. She patted Zhang Hui again, and sure enough, 
nothing was set. Zhang Hui hadn't noticed his avatar before. He glanced at Ming Shuang's head, the little green dinosaur was showing his teeth and claws, and he could almost imagine the person behind the head. Zhang Hui, change what? 16 Yuan, wait, I'll find one for you. Three minutes later, she sent a picture to Zhang Hui. It is a reedied, white lopard bunny, holding a big moon, sitting on a rocket. 16 Yuan, it's very similar to you, doesn't it? Zhang Hui really ignored her again. Ming Shuang laughed so hard that from the first time they met, she wanted to bully Zhang Hui just by looking at her, but now she's a little more familiar. Knowing that his character is like this, he thinks even more. 16 rounds, the 15th moon is 16 rounds, and I was born on the 15th of the lunar calendar. Ming Shuang talked a lot, but Zhang Hui did not reply, and kept saying something. She added, Zhang Hui, you pet me. Zhang Hui ignored her. Then, in the center of the screen you patted 16 Yuan and got a big kiss. Ming Shuang laughed. Zhang Hui put the phone in his pocket. Brother, are you sending WeChat with your girlfriend? A little boy was sitting across the table, writing a math problem with a pen. Zhang Hui usually has few emotions and is a very quiet and indifferent person. Although Ding Ming Ming is young, his ability to observe words is still quite strong. Zhang Hui, no. Oh. Brother, are you in a relationship? Zhang Hui shook his head, pulled out his pen, and focused on a topic he had just written, I made a mistake. Brother, you are so handsome. When I grow up in the future, I also imagine you are so handsome. Ding Ming Ming used an eraser to clean the lines. Obviously he didn't want to let this topic go. Ding Ming Ming was in the first year of junior high school, and there was a little girl in the class who had a crush on him. Unfortunately, the little girl didn't like him and thought that he was too short and not good looking. Zhang Hui laughed. At night, he rides home. Tonight happens to be 15. The moon in the sky is round, the bright moon hangs high, hangs in the air, and sheds moonlight so far away, yet so within reach. The next weekend, Ming Shuang and Su Tianbei and Li Hung Yuan went out to play crazy for a day. When they came home in the evening, just opened the door and saw the shoes at the door, their brows wrinkled. Sure enough, when I entered the door, I saw Gu Wanning. Gu Wanning happened to be 35 years old this year, 15 years younger than Ming Lichen. She passed away some time ago although her 35th birthday was uneven, but Ming Lichen made a big show for her. People from half the circle of the wealthy in Tanchinj came here, which can be regarded as enough face for Gu Wanning. After marrying into the Ming family for so many years, Gu Wanning has obviously changed a lot. Now she is tall, her makeup is exquisite, she has a strong Leda-like style, and she has a lot of confidence in her speech. There was a girl sitting next to her. Gu's Hizi and Ming Shuang are the same age. They are 17 this year. They are in class 202 of Tanfu University, and their grades have always been very good. It has always been the pride that Gu Wanning, an aunt, always mentions. Right now, Gu's Hizi is sitting somewhat cautiously, with a little white skirt and a ponytail, chatting with Ming Lichen. Her brows and eyes are delicate and flat completely different from Ming Shuang's beauty that can be seen at a glance, her dazzling beauty, her whole person has a different style. Ming Shuang entered the door, didn't bother to talk to them, and wanted to go upstairs. Ming Shuang, you won't call anyone when you enter the door. Ming Lichen said. Ming Shuang, my throat hurts. Gu's Hizi was busy trying to smooth things out, I'm so angry in the summer and my throat is not feeling well these days. Gu Wanning took her niece's hand, Zhi Zhi studied too hard, Tan Fu studied hard, last time we took the exam, we Zhizi entered the top 100 in the school, and we rushed again and again in the third year of high school, the top universities must be no problem. I heard that Zhuang Shuang has also transferred to Tan Fu. Can you still keep up with your studies? If you have any questions, you can ask Hizi to teach you. 
Ming Lichen gave an ugly smile, she burns incense if she doesn't let me go out and cause trouble, and she still studies. Gu Zhizi said obediently, I'm fine, my sister can ask me any questions. Ming Lichen praised, Zhizi is a good boy. If you need anything in the future, just tell your uncle. The three held each other's stinky feet and looked like they were a family that loved each other. This is not the first time, every time Ming Lichen comes back, Gu Wanning has to bring Gu Zhizi to this house together, and then show off her cleverness inside and out, and together to please Ming Lichen. Under Gu Wanning's advice, every year on Father's Day, Gu Zhizi would make handmade gifts and write greeting cards for Ming Lichen. Ming Shuang was angry, she was a typical eldest lady, she would lose her temper when she was angry, and sneered, I have problems with my studies, of course there are people who can ask, I can find the first one to help me oh nay oh none, I need to find a hundred name. Gu Zhizi's eyes widened. You have a good relationship as long as you have a good relationship, so don't use it to perform for me. The girl looked at them coldly, her face even more beautiful and dazzling, her pointed chin raised, when will you just change your surname as well? Ming Shuang. The girl's back can no longer be seen. Gu Zhizi sat in the living room with a smile on his face and his heart was surging. She glanced over the luxurious furnishings of the villa, and then looked at Ming Lichen. A capable and reliable father, a beautiful mother, such a perfect home. It would be great if it could be all hers. Speaking of which, did Ming Shuang take a fancy to Zhang Hawai? Someone saw that she had been pestering Zhang Hawai. Aren't they at the same table? It's normal to talk more at the same table. Ming Shuang is so beautiful and rich. I can't resist chasing after me for a day. How could Zhang Hawai like her? Gu Zhizi was writing notes, he couldn't listen anymore and couldn't help but say. They didn't even know who Ming Shuang was. Zhang Huai just pushed the door and came in, and the discussion stopped. The Pagian class at Tanfa weekend is only open to the top 100 students. Gu Zhi asked Gu Wanning to walk in and squeeze out the last one. She knows that her name is not right, and she doesn't speak much in the class. Last time, she finally touched the tail of a hundred people, and her words obviously increased. Zhang Huai sat in the last row by the window as quiet as ever. He was born beautifully, and his grades have always been at the top of the list, but his communication with everyone seems to be limited to just a few words. Gu Zhizi couldn't calm down in class, she was writing questions, occasionally looking up at Zhang Hawai. After school, everyone went out. Zhang Hawai. Gu Zhizi chased after him and called him by name. Are you familiar with Ming Shuang? She asked directly, a little uneasy. Thinking of what Ming Shuang said in the living room that day, Gu Zhizi felt a little uncertain. The young man gave her a quiet look, didn't answer, turned around and continued walking. He is a person with a strong sense of boundaries, and he has no friendship with Gu Zhizi. Gu Zhizi became accustomed to his indifference. She chased after Zhang Hawai, her heart seemed to hold back her breath, and she said, Ming Shuang is my sister. We grew up together. The young man walked slowly. You probably don't know who she is. Gu Zhizi said, when she was a child, she never liked anything for more than a month. Gu Zhizi felt that he was the same kind of person as him, but he and Ming Shuang were completely different worlds. Ming Shuang is not the type that Zhang Hawai would like at all. She is too dazzling, too aggressive and aggressive and she doesn't seem to be someone who would love seriously. She had a lot of boyfriends before, and it was because of this. Her family is so rich and beautiful. Having said that, Gu Zhizi suppressed the change in his face. Zhang Hawai, even if you are with her in the future. Gu Zhizi said, she can't be the only one with you, and she won't always like you. She just wanted to play. And can Zhang Hawai play it? There was no change in the young man's expression, not even the slightest fluctuation. Gu Zhizi didn't know whether he believed what he said or not. I know, you quit the competition class before because. I don't want to go. 
Zhang Huai interrupted her. Gu Zhizi has known Zhang Huai for almost six years. Seeing him grow up from a beautiful and taciturn boy in junior high school to now, her heart became colder, and her eyes widened in disbelief. Sometimes he is unexpectedly stubborn. If he doesn't want to do it, he doesn't want to do it. If he likes it, he likes it, and if he doesn't like it, he doesn't like it. Zhang Huai was like ice. Gu Zhizi couldn't understand why. She thought that the ice could only slowly melt, but she didn't know, if what Ming Shuang said was true, why did she just come here for such a short period of time? Zhang Huai can make such a big change. Zhang Huai ignored her and left. On Monday, Ming Shuang was drowsy in his seat. Zhang Huai was writing notes. She was lying on her seat, occasionally tilting her head, looking at her curiously, mostly at Zhang Huai's beautiful fingers and handwriting. She likes to see his focused look the most. The eyebrows and eyes are slightly drooping, and the beautiful face is indifferent and showy, and the lines from the jaw to the Adam's apple are particularly beautiful. This isn't written for me, is it? It was written for me specifically. She also asked, No way, you love me so much. Her pointed chin almost touched Zhang Huai's arm. Zhang Huai's note-taking finger paused, Ming Shuang liked to tease him, and then saw his blushing face, he was getting used to it the young man glanced at her, moved himself a little further, and didn't say a word. Ming Shuang took out her mobile phone and swiped, seeing that Zhang Huai's WeChat avatar had been changed to the little rabbit holding the moon, she couldn't help snickering in her heart. Squad leader, someone is looking for it and told you to get the test paper. Ruan Yangfen happened to turn around and said by the way. Zhang Huai got up and went out. Ming Shuang didn't sleep much anymore, stood up and looked out the window, but saw an unexpected person. It turned out to be Gu Zhizi. The anger that Ming Shuang felt in his heart that day ignited again. Zhang Huai didn't seem to be familiar with her, so she went back to class after saying a few words. Hey, Zhang Huai. Ming Shuang called his name, and it was clear and crisp. The boy lowered his eyes and looked sideways at her. His eyes were dark and clean, and Ming Shuang saw too little himself in his eyes. Don't talk to her, okay? I don't like it. Ming Shuang said. She really didn't like Gu Zhizi, and even felt a little psychological shadow like a conditioned reflex. This has been the case since she was a child. When she was a child, she would share her favorite toys and beautiful skirts with Gu Zhizi very innocently, but later she found out that Gu Zhizi liked not those toys and skirts, but only the clothes on her hands. 1. Okay. Zhang Huai said. The author says, the beauty in the future is willing to be played by the little villain.jpg.